Hey, it's Jeff Payton with the Role Playing Public Radio. This is RPP Actual Play. We're playing Savage World, Savage Rifts, woo, woo. Symphony of the End, Episode Eleven. Have uh, we done eleven of these so far? Well, we've done ten. We are beginning our eleventh. Adventure. Yeah, it's done. We know this. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, tell us how. How does it end, Tom? We're no. We're doing eleven. We've done eleven. It ends it's in blood. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, pretty sure it will actually. Future tense. I also think it would end in rainbows. Enjoy. We'll see if that's Those foreshadowing. So we are. Uh, yeah. In the last episode, the players actually went to the orchestra, the big old dungeony super base that was house the the whole muse project before the rifts and they fought and took down some coalition dudes but and they also got new leads on some muses uh, so we will first up before we get into any of that we have vignettes your your life uh, at at castle refuge in branson missouri uh and so the name of the town isn't even branson it's branson it's branson it's, missouri and that's all that, that's the only thing you say in that accent yeah basically it's traditional wait wait hold on if it's branson is he still alive which he showed you tabuchi no oh what a country yeah. Yeah. Oh, they don't talk about the, 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 no, he was staked. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. He got staked to put out the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Right. We don't have to, we, 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 uh, we don't talk about no, Only we, American blood will do. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so yeah, the Russia. They stake you. No. Um, <laughs> you stake them. So, uh, yeah, well, let's just go around the table and who wants to begin? Uh, there's a little vignette. If you don't know what to do, there is the ghost MMO. Remember, if you you help that ghost MMO and those ghosts continue the cycle of endless video game playing and death and rebirth, the they generate more PPE, which then can be monetized and make a profit and you make credits. So if you want to get a shiny new piece of gear, the MMO is way to go. So... Does anybody want to start or screw it? I'm going. All right. So, Sean, please remind the listeners about your character. Hey, what? I was here for the first episode and I just now returned. Uh huh. Oh. I'm playing Yolanda Hayes, an artificial being. I identifies as she. So, mm-hmm. you know, she was around before the rifts. Yeah. Remembers Android. a lot of weird stuff yeah. and has skills that nobody understands. And um, yeah, she can deal with people. I know. It's like a thing that Rifts does not handle well. No. Um, (laughs) But yeah, no. And I've been playing at home base for a while Mm -hmm. is what we're going with. As far as... uh, You were researching the muses and the whole symphony of the end. I was doing important things. Yeah, you're the one who helped open the portal to the orchestra, we'll say. Yes. Also playing World of Warcraft. Anyhow. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So yeah. So in case, yeah, you don't know, the players did a mission where they... Found this MMO that was running, but now it's powered by the souls of the damned, or basically ghosts. So they're trapped in this purgatory. So basically, like, World of Warcraft. So I might have been rescuing souls. Well, no, they want to keep them there because oh. it's they, the ghosts are okay with it because dying doesn't hurt, but it does release psychic energy (PPE) so that they that can be harvested. But the the problem is they've been playing the same game for hundreds of years without it being updated. Well, so they're not very active. So the, if you if you improve the game, they'll be more excited to play the game. So and what Yolanda the, would be thinking is that she's not well, she's not like harvesting them. She's helping them. Yeah, no, add new content or improve the hardware. Right. And she's um, like assisting them in becoming better people. Yeah. Yeah, so, so they don't they don't mind playing the game. They just are tired of the game as it is. So people have added new music. They've added new written content for it. Things of that nature. So oh, she's assi- probably assisted them in creating you know, like one fostering new content creators. Yeah, uh, two absolutely creating new missions mm-hmm. scenarios, and three probably fostering new factions. Mm-hmm. So I figured that might be, I guess. So, you're, you're, yeah, what skill do you want to use if you just want to make a skill check? Um, hmm. Yeah, what would, yeah. So, you I'm can also like, look at this as more of, like, you're recruiting people to do those things. You, you could also, like, what? get more computing hardware. Basically, think of some way you can improve this ongoing project, and you can make some money for it. Would language work? If you can explain how. Um... I'm actually going to encourage them to develop separate languages to create. Oh yeah, small go to speak out. Speak out. Yeah, it's in English. Yeah, if you speak, if you. So if they can like speak different languages in the process, we're 
re, we're resurrecting yeah, you could double the player languages, base. Yeah. but we're also creating a more rich environment. Well, yeah. Well, new players to play. Like, they right. could start... Like, uh, like, yeah. he, like no, but let's give me, more. Yeah, yeah. Give me yeah. a language check. Okay. D12. Oh, here we go. Oh, you have a D12 language? Yeah. Nice. And you oh. also want to roll a D6 with it. You always get your D6, oh, too. Okay. okay. Let me do this. And Would you like to borrow the Easy Roller Dice by oh. EasyRollerDice.com? Oh. That's fine. I'm good. <laughs> 11... Eleven's very good. I will give you fifty five hundred credits. Okay, as you're able to add new players to the game, people have never experienced this content, so they it, it generates a lot of energy because they're eager to check out all this this, this stuff. And also, they're not dead, dead. They're just trapped as ghosts. They're also learning Chinese. Hey, they're only like mostly better. dead. Well, no, you are. Yeah, well, adding multilingual support adds Chinese players to the game. You are but you know, the people across the planet, I guess, join. Well, or maybe not across the planet. Yeah, you're, like, you're 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 harvesting. You don't know exactly how why certain ghosts show up to this game. There might be languages I don't even. Yeah, yeah. They just exist. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, you're you're adding multilingual support to the MMO, uh, which is helping quite a bit. So, Cranberry Bog Hexer, how are you doing? <clears throat> Let me see here. Well, I, I find myself in my uh, private bed chambers in Castle Gra- uh, <laughs> Castle <laughs> Refuge, Castle Refuge here, at Castle Refuge, laying in a laying in a wizardly hammock of my own design. Mm. I'm wearing my hillbilly outfit and attempt to cheer myself up after I, after I richly betrayed my good friend Stetson by selling him to a nasty little goblin creature. That's true, you did. You know, and just like you know, the hillbilly outfit just isn't really hitting the dopamine receptor. So I hit upon the idea that maybe my feet aren't very big. You know, hillbillies have enormous feet. Maybe I just need to complete the entire thing. So I so I catch so I catch growth upon my own feet that decide the pontoons. I'm briefly amused as I look myself in the mirror, but I understand that I'm going to be stubbing my toes all over everything. Also, I won't get any tail. So you know, I'm just I'm just sitting here in my hammock, barefooted, unloved, missing steps. Yeah. Uh, going going through my Rips Savage World branded smartphone, looking at other photographs we took of each other. Man, the Aww. shit you miss after a few sessions. Oh yeah, it was a whole thing. He's had multiple adventures with his albatross. Family. I'll give you a penny for that role play. Yeah, as you are, you're, you're feeling pretty bad about it. Pretty. <laughs> It takes a lot to make you want to grow your own feet into pontoon size. I'm gonna tend to the feet, the blues. <laughs> D feet. Uh, well, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> you, sometimes you get the blues. Yeah. Sometimes you just really need to kick out of that. Sorry, I already gave him a betting. But good, good try there, David. Speaking of that, what does forty four want to do for his vignette? Well, we've already established that forty four likes to trap things for the MMO. Hmm. And I think that I'm going to be doing that, like okay. venturing out into the environs near Branson. Specifically, I'm looking for one of those um, famous white cats that used to be at the Magical Mansion. Uh-huh. Uh, there used to be a magic act that was Van Birch and Welford. Uh-huh. And then beyond that, there was another uh, person that came along that was a stage magician working with big white cats. Mm-hmm. And so, as we all know, after the fall, the cats got out into the wild and multiplied. So out there, there are these fabulous white cats. Yeah, but, you know, I, I would say give me an occult check because they got to be out there somewhere. And that is a five. So what you realize what actually would really help is not the living cats, because I forgot how we did that. But like this is a ghost MMO. <laughs> the ghosts of those original cats would be a great addition to the game. Yeah. OK, so, so that means that I just need to find an old exorcist and a young exorcist. Yeah. Yeah. So this could be a multi-part thing. And the payday would be commiserate with that. So, yeah, do you want to delegate? Yeah, find some exorcists, some people to bust some ghosts for you? Or do you want to... Because I, yeah, I, I happen to know I've got a party member who is in a funk. I'm just going to go grab Cranberry. Okay. Boston makes me feel good. Uh, help me find the cats. <laughs> okay, tattooed one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, the ruins of Branson and the theaters are around you. They've been... Some of which... Uh, the, what was the one where... What was that theater called that they worked in? Well, that was the Magical Mansion. The Magical Mansion. Yeah, the right, obviously. It was is haunted, the yeah. Wayne Newton Theater originally. Okay. Then we, uh, we'll, we'll say the Magical Mansion Theater ruins are still there and unoccupied. The, 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 you know, most of the theaters have been either destroyed or rebuilt and occupied. The, the, the community around Castle Refuge. So you, yeah, you so can go on. So we're looking for a magical lion, a magical tiger, or a magical oh my. 
So, yeah, how do you want to do this? Do you just want to go to the Magical Mansion and look around, or do you want to come up with a game plan first? Well, let's go and look around. That's the first part. Okay. First, we need to acquire our target. Uh, yeah, tell me your approach. Well, how, how are you looking for the ghost? You just literally just walking around? Uh, let's see here. I have anything that speaks with dead. I mean, those spells exist. So I don't think you have them. You're an ocean wizard, not a ghost wizard. Well, yeah. people drown in the water. Or a necromancer. That's what you really need is a necromancer. You need to well, I have an OD. I got a 1D8 knock call. What do you have? I have a D. I have a. I have a D8. D8. So. Yeah, you can both give me a call check. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah. Plus I got a three. Six plus five is 11, 18. Oh, damn. All right. So. Yeah, you know all the methods of contacting ghosts without casting the spell, speak with dead. So your options are one, recruit a necromancer to do it for you, or two, do one of the traditional methods yourself. So automatic handwriting, seances, using a radio as a ghost box. um, Those are the big three you could use pretty easily. Can you turn one of your tattoos into a radio? You could just get a radio. They're not that. I could just buy a radio. If that's easier, fine. I was just trying to be fantastical. This is boring. (laughs) To the gift shop. There's a a powder blue shirt there intended for young women that exposes their midriff. I'm going to look fetching in it. (laughs) All right, yeah. Okay, so one, absolutely well. Two, I do have a summoned griffin. Since it is ectoplasmic, maybe we could talk to the griffin and have the griffin talk to the lions. (laughs) Yes. Is it only the Griffin's high? Sorry, a moving voice just said no. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> all right. You get the radio. You with your eighteen, you can modify it into a ghost box. Yeah, give me. And so you you turn on. It's just radio static. Shh. And then everyone's here. Meow. Shh. Meow. Meow. Shh. <laughs> meow. Head yeah. towards the meows. I have an edge in Beastmaster. Would this assist me in uh, yeah. interpreting these calls? Oh, yeah, it is. All right. Meow, you, motherfucker. Yeah, it, it's just kind of aimless right now. You, you'd have to communicate with it. So what are you trying? What do you want to say? You basically talk out loud and wait for the meows. So like, what do you? Yeah. What's your pitch? What's your deal, ghost cat? All right. Roll persuasion. <laughs> Tell it that if we can convince it to come join us in this ghost MMO, that it gets all the steaks it can eat. Chris, I love you, but please tell Six it to fail. Scores uh, 10, that'd be 15 total. Uh, yeah, 15. All right. Well, you only take the top die, so there would be 6 plus 4, 10. You don't... So just 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. Okay. 10 is still a very good success. I miss the show. I miss performing. I miss the crowds. Oh, ooing and eyeing and saying what a good kitty I am. All right, I relay this to my friend. Okay. Oh, great ghost cat. Uh If you will join us, we can get you all of those things through the form of the ghost MMO. You will get praises not only from small audiences, but from large (laughs) global audiences. Can you imagine being on a global stage, a global virtual stage in front of all of the ghosts? I mean, technically, it's kind of its own separate reality. Okay, yeah. Yeah, give me another persuasion check with a plus two. Meow. If that's the pitch you want to go with. If, 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 oh, Dave, either either yeah. one of you can. Well, I got a one. Well, I've got a six. All right. Yeah. You, yeah. The, 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 the key, the, the, the ghost lion is pretty like intrigued by this idea. And you contact him line and then Dominus uh, Mortimer and they work it out so that he puts on shows. They, they, they get a, a, a stage, another ghost to act as the stage magician. But the lion, what's the, what's the lion's name? Lionel. Lionel. Because we're not creative. Okay, yeah. Sure. All right. He's lying. Lionel becomes a star performer. And basically, the characters in the video game have to get certain tickets to even watch a show. They have to do grinding, which means fighting, which means dying, So, which they're eager to do so they can see the new show. So you're able to, the two of you, get a thousand credits each. Such quests. Yeah. How do you do that, at least? Yeah. So, meanwhile. We made some money. Steve. Hello. What did I say? Was this cooking or prep? Do you remember? I do not. I okay. Spend it. We'll say it's prep then. All right. I'm like, like prepping for the competition. Mm, all right. Next. I think next is the semifinals. And then after that is the finals. So yeah. Next time cooking uh, semifinals. All right. So what do you want to do to uh, train? I mean, you don't have to. You can just fuck off. You just. Oh, no. This, all right. I, this is a crab. This is 
Yeah. Crap, this is a craft I am owning, and I'm an officer now. I have to lead by example. Oh, that's right. You do. Well, it has to be something new. You've already learned everything you can from the previous training montages you've done, basically. I was about to say, is he going to phase roll for the thing? Uh, he, he, oh, does God. he want to? Like, I don't know. What You you tell me how you're going to train. Freaking no one's telling you what to do. You you have to figure it out yourself. All right. I am going to have random, like, just, you know, people around and around the place assemble like, okay, pick a random ingredient mm-hmm. and bring a quantity of it to, you know, to the messel. Okay. And I have, like, everyone do this. Uh-huh. And, and then, like, okay, then I'm going to have, like, all right. Now, like, like everyone's going to have cards. Like, you mix around, these around. And, like, we're going to, like, we're going to all draw randomly. from, mm-hmm. And I have to make something about this on the spot. Okay. Gooey duck. So, are you going to put any money up? Because that will get a lot of interest if you actually like are willing to lay. If you're actually willing to put something on the line for this, if you're just doing this for training, you'll you'll get some people will help you out of pity. But people want to see a show; they want to see you sweat. So, like, yeah, if you put you and you know, if you put yourself under pressure, that'll probably so be better. Training for you putting money up for it. How much? I got five grand left. Okay, I'll put five grand on it. All right. Who's going to be judging? I know what ingredients we need to get. <laughs> Cranberry, can you tell the difference between which one of these mushrooms will let you see God, which one of these mushrooms will taste great, and which one of these mushrooms will just make you trip balls? Consume all three at once. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just dice them up fine. No one will know. Um, also, you could, Chris, you could come over with an NPC to be the judge and just role plays him for the scene. Just the uh, someone who lives at the, the base. Ingredient. I will say Ragnar Thunder Axe will, will make sure, will make a law that, or a rule that no one's allowed to bring anything that's poisonous or venomous uh, or anything like that. Like, it has to be edible. Mm. Nothing radioactive, uh, nothing like, like that. Like, well, I brought this whole thing of plutonium, fine. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to sprinkle it over like salt, you know, for flavor. Yeah. Uh, radioactive uh, flavor. Oh, wait, I know. It's Guy Firelord, the, the guy who really likes fast food places, with the spiky hair, and he's also fire. <laughs> oh, I remember fire that elemental. guy with the flaming okay, tips. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to role play as him? Or I could do this. Okay, yeah. Um, I believe in you. Yeah. So, Diners, drive-ins, and deeds. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Sean gets a bitty. That, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, my God. Oh. I can't believe I that's the level of maturity we're going for. This. He passes the shot. <laughs> Maybe he should be Guy Firelord. I yeah. can if you want. All right, yeah, sure. You swooped in there. You go ahead. All right. Hey, folks, today on Diners, Drivers, and DBs, we're checking out this new cooking show with, what's your name? Steve. With Steve. I don't know where the hell I am right now, but my hair is on fire. It's literally on fire because I'm not from this dimension. Okay. (laughs) Do things ignite around you? Yes. All right. So anybody, I'll bring in the first contestant. It's a, it's a, it's a farmer from the edge of town. There's like a herd. You've got money up on these. Uh, I do, sir. Yes. All right. Hey, sir. What's your name? Uh, it's Cursed Frank. <laughs> cursed Frank. I'm sorry. You're cursed, or is it Kurt? I'm not sure. Cursed. I'm cursed. Oh, I'm sorry. Anger to witch. Oh, well, let's see if maybe your cooking can fix that. Oh, I thought I was just supposed to bring in ingredients for him to cook and make like, good. Like, yes, that is the uh, that is the whole thing. Uh, yes. All right. I have no idea where I am right now. I don't want to hear, to be honest. I got Blight Cow. Do I know what Blight Cow is? It's a, like a cow, but it cursed, and you hack off a bit, and it grows back, but it grows back different every time. Oh, I see. That yeah. sounds like an amazing variety. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of variety, lots of eyes. <laughs> Sometimes you get some teeth inside. Uh, it's a tumor cow. No, not always tumor. Sometimes it's well. It looks like gold jewelry, but if you, you if you try and claim it for your own, you'll it'll bleed into your. They give you nightmares. Um, anyways, it's different every time. I brought the whole black cow. And you just slice off a bit. Like just give me. This sounds like an amazing adventure. <laughs> it's like, uh, it probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a cookie jar. Okay. <laughs> I'm all. I'm all for challenge. Yep. Nine. All right. Yeah, there's a pit of black cow you see that's actually very good. Uh, um, well, the butt. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of like, like going to have to cut around quickly. One, 
two, three. <laughs> yeah. Make, make it make it showy. Yeah, nice rub oh, for us. Oh, yeah! Flavor explosion! He's cooking its butt! <laughs> 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 All right. Now that's what I call a rump roast. <laughs> All right. And cursed Frank. He cries as the cow. You cook the rump roast. Who's going to try it? Oh, well, Guy Fire. Yeah, Guy, uh, Guy Fire is going to like. Yeah. All right. He's going to like put it in his hair first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, first. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then he's going to eat it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I can good. feel the curse in my stomach already. <laughs> oh, wait. The curse is being lifted. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, sir. I may have lost a bet, but you lifted the curse by making a delicious cow dish from my black cow. It's like it's now my it's a blessed cow. It's like it's like. Would you like to take some home with you? Yes. I'm like, just so happy to eat a cow's butt. Actually, for the first time, I'm packing up. I'm packing up a to-go box. All right. And there's my other milestone, like mm-hmm. my first to-go box. Yeah. Wait, oh. is that made of styrofoam? Like, you should be ashamed. I was like, I was like oh, it's like, no, 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 no. It's, it's, no, 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 it's like, no, it's some space age polymer. It's obviously mega damage. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So is it labeled? Mega damage. <laughs> so is it labeled dog boy box? Yes, yeah. it is labeled dog boy box. There you go. Yeah. Let's see if anybody else have anything they want to. They can top blight cow, a <laughs> wacky ingredient that is still technically edible. Nothing I can say out loud. Yeah, yeah. There's, also, <laughs> there's also demon seaweed, but yeah, how close are we to the ocean? Again, Where can we, we be are, sure that it's Branson fresh? is still in the same place in the post-apocalyptic world. Most of the time, yeah, I moved Mall of America, what but about not Branson. Catfish, yes, catfish, catfish, catfish. Giant, catfish. See, they're not actually catfish. catfish; they're catfishing it. They're catfish. Oh, it's a manipulative catfish. <laughs> so oh, what okay. you're saying is that it's not really a catfish; it's just a fish that's catfishing to be a catfish. Yeah. Okay. I've heard of them. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh my god, I think this is kind of deceptive. <laughs> yeah, and from the bottom of Table Rock Lake, so that makes them the giant damn catfish. Oh, right. Wait, is that dam still intact? Apparently. Wow. Uh, yeah. Damn, they built it well. <laughs> no, they, it actually was destroyed, but then a curse rebuilt it. There's a lot of curses going around. It's like, it's like the, Ozarks, <laughs> the Ozarks are very cursed. Yeah, we are. It is. Um, um. The spook line. The spook line. So <laughs> you, yeah, give me another Korean check. Okay. I'm sorry, Ross. <laughs> ah, that is a nine again. All right. That is, let's see if that's enough. Uh, yes, that is. Can anybody stop this cooking machine? <laughs> uh, so it doesn't taste like catfish. It, ca- it tastes like something else entirely. What is, but it's delicious. What is? It what like is chicken. it? I think it. No, no. I think it tastes like a Sonic Chili Dog. I know. <laughs> no, no, we go. No, yeah, yeah. she just want it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what it was. Catfish. That, that's what the catfish was. Act, actually, it's like, was. Like, no, it's like you have to interpret. You have to interpret what it actually tastes like before uh, you can. Are you it. sucking on a chili dog? Are you Sonic the Hedgehog? Are you an OC? Do not steal my character. Like, <laughs> like, 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 I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> All right, cut commercial. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not sorry. Yeah, yeah. You get a plus two in your next cooking roll. <laughs> For, for the semifinals. For the semifinals, yeah. Actually, I'm going to write that down. Yeah, yeah, you should. Because I'll forget it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Vignette's taking care of side. All of you wake up in a vast field. You're all, you all wake up wine on. You feel plastic and cloth beneath you. And it, it's dim. They're, they're, the, the sky above you is dark, filled with black smoke. Around you in the distance, you can see fires occasionally and like the smell of smoke hangs, burnt plastic and, and cloth. First it's, thing I do is I, I look at the remains of the cush I, I borrowed. I bought from that skeletal guardian mm-hmm. back then. Like I smoked too much of this. And all of you realize you don't know how you got here, but you begin to uh, as your eyes begin to adjust the darkness, you can see each other and all of you begin to remember so all of you remember your mission briefing. Uh, oh, we, we were briefed. You were briefed. <laughs> Sorry. You were briefed that they, they have an emergency mission for you. They found the, the muse of children's music, but you had to jump through the ley line nexus very quickly. Uh, and that's when you all realize that they actually, you can see the three of you can see each other, but there's a, a human child with you. Um, and Steve, you feel very different. Like, I don't like this. Yeah. This is wrong. Uh, the voice sounds startlingly familiar, but yeah, as, as you sort of get up, you realize you're in a field of discarded and broken toys 
and you don't know exactly what happened to you after you went through the ley line nexus to teleport to go rescue the muse of children's music. Uh, but somehow Steve was transformed into a human boy. All right. Riff's babies. <laughs> you three are the same, though. Like, Riff baby. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> poor kid. Would you like a lollipop? Like, I've got candy in my I bag. swear to fuck I will kill you if you go on like that. <laughs> Steve, who did you anger? Like, who I did don't you? know. Who did I don't you? know. Like, Grandma's not angry. I know that much. <laughs> like, I mean, the look she gave me was scowling, but it was the closest to praise she ever gave me the last time. Aww. I don't... I don't like this! Yes, yeah, so look at you. Unable to lift even the tiniest gun. Can't even drive a car. No I wasn't money. even thinking no about credit that. cards. And now that's You're a baby. All I, a baby forever. And now that's all I'm thinking about. Your greatest about. nightmare. Like, Steve, it's okay. We still love you. <laughs> um, like, oh my god, like, are my, where are my guns? Like, are my guns gone? They can't They're be gone. All... I just... Yes, they were taken away because you've been grounded, Steve. Your guns are all toy form now. I'll let you choose between pop gun, nerf gun, and the super soaker. Well, obviously, the plasma projector's got to be the super soap. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah she fell all sorts of gross shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a super soaker full of piss. <laughs> Where did I get this? All right. <laughs> so, I'm so familiar. <laughs> 44, you see this first. Something moving in the pile of discarded toys next to Steve begins moving and towards him. Uh, what, what kind of toy is it that is moving towards Steve? Uh, it's one of those creepy Jack in the Boxes. I was thinking Tiny Tina. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get to yeah. Ta- Jack so while I just go like do 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 grab sword. Yeah, you 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 get your sword. You hear the music too, uh, Steve. Like and I'm not familiar with this tune. There's a little pop and there's a little Jack in the Box looking like hello. What? Hi. Look. Urge what? What's hit. your name, little boy? This is not symbolic at all. I, <laughs> I don't like this. What? You, well, no one likes this. That's why you're here to save us. The king of toy, the king of children's music, needs to be. You're the one to save the kingdom. The, the king has declared that no music shall be played. And, it's like, gotten, excuse me. Uh, yeah. Can I borrow your box for just one second? It's part of my body. I I know, just the box part. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no! Steve, why are you head butting that poor Jack in the Box's ass? Like, I don't have normal human feelings, but I'm vaguely creeped out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm fine. This is all wrong. Like, tail's gone. I don't know how to walk like this. So, there's, you feel something on your shoulder. Like, there, there, little like, boy. And there's like one of those carnival sized teddy bears pushing out of the, the, the trash. It's got like one, and it's beat to hell and back. But yeah, it's, it's making a deeper voice. I'm just, oh, look, it's broken toys for our broken home. <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about? My home's fine. Um. Yeah. So. So more and more makes it that way. Of these toys turn out to be alive. They may be broken, but they are alive. Like they I'm start not a child. To... Like I'm twenty. Why am I feeling weirdly maternal? <laughs> like uh, I don't know that those of you. Oh God. Cults can give me rolls. Okay. Uh. So okay. Just make sure I, I remember how to do this right. Because uh, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. Um, I make the occult roll that I have the dice on. Do I use the stat next to it? No. Uh, no. You yeah. just the stat next to it is <coughs> determining how high it can go when you hit level up time. Okay. So basically, you use this die plus you roll a d6, which is your wild die, and if you hit the tie, highest number on either die, they explode. So I roll two d6. Okay. okay. So yeah. If your your skill is six, you'd roll two d6. What is this? That's a six. So you roll that one again. That's one. another six. So it's seven plus seven. two, which would be nine. 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 Yeah. I got 15. Oh, okay. Damn. All right. So what you realize, and you only used one die, right? Yeah. yeah I rolled two sixes and then a three. Damn. All right. So with that amazing roll, you realize when you step through the Nexus, you were teleported to this pocket universe that the muse created of children's music. Something's clearly gone wrong with it, but... I would say so! 
you're a wizard, so certain curses and transformation spells won't affect you. You're not human. You're a robot. And you, you're also a magical creature. So you're the only actual, like, regular-ass mortal in the group. So, Oh, lucky me! Yeah, so something about this muses powers transforms mortals into children. Well, this is hell. <laughs> but on the plus side, all these broken toys see you as their hero. Well, that's a mistake. And there's quite a few of them more. There's, there's several more. So there's the Jack in the Box. There's the giant teddy bear. The cranberry was another toy that is shaping up to be very noticeable let's see here okay you know those barbie mannequin heads that girls would practice combing hair oh yeah all right some off brand shit like that yeah <laughs> just the head just, yeah. yeah yeah it was just a head they would just they would just practice brushing hair yeah, like, that, that was a girl's oh, wait, 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 oh so like the big well, ones right wait, 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 practice, wait, 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 hair, practice makeup I, and it was I'm the cappuccino to, to the ca- like a well it's like the size of like a mannequin head right yeah 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 okay basically Okay, yeah. I'm decapitated. Yeah. All right, so the teddy bear has that, is carrying her around. And she, she's trying to sing and, and be pleasant. She has a nice voice, but yeah, she's just can't. It just, it, she's fighting, clearly fighting against the, this magic, this power that's preventing any, any of these beings from singing or, or making music. Um, and let's see here. So we have three. Well, let's have one more. One more toy. A transformer. Okay, or. Hawk of wood with a face. It rolls downstairs in one or in pairs. Oh Slows over God. your neighbor's dog. Now we got to go with Transformers. We got to go with something with package. That would be so. Also, they're sponsoring us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Giant teddy bear. Uh, Jack in the box. Please, Hasbro, but give us money. Uh, <laughs> you um, clearly need it. Oh, <laughs> well, to be fair, I was thinking that there's got to be at least something that's a little bit threadbare. No. Oh, yeah. And plug for other RPG. Yeah. So the so the transformer is it's a we'll say it's a lame it's one. Oreo bot. Uh, it's cherry picker bot. He, oh, okay. he, he, it's a cherry picker truck. So you know right. it's just utility truck. Man. Oh yeah, it's an off brand one. It's like a go bot. Like it's. It's, it's a worse bot. The worst bot. I, yeah. I know. Dot bot. Like, worst bot. Ross for yeah. Ross for yeah. Dot bot. Department of Transportation. Ooh, dot bot. There we go. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, it was the a pain. special one that they had commissioned uh, <laughs> to sell a Department of Transportation thing. So it was a limited run. So it's like an old utility truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it got the cherry picker <laughs> With, like, on the it. Whole, yeah, yeah. Like cherry picker building. Like, no, 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 it's probably one of five. And, and, so then, and if you combine them all, you can fix the roads like an adult no, does. No, you combine them all, it gets crippling depression. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and fixes the roads, too, right? No. My wife took the kid <laughs> bots around <laughs> away from me. The Department me, yeah. of Transportation actually fix roads. So these, are, these, four, these four toys seem to have the most capabilities like they're the most intelligent they're able to talk the most and they're their most well aside from the barbie head to cap it we'll just say trisha just oh, trisha seems to know a lot huh yeah. to cap patricia to cap patricia i'm just yeah, gonna marie antoinette yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah um those four seem to be the most with it so they seem they're, they're but there are other toys also sort of like sw- not quite swarming but like reverently following steve uh, as i look over this i just quietly mutter under my breath this is horrifying <laughs> yeah, so you can talk to them and ask them what's going on. But yeah, you're 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 here somehow to find the person that is possessed by the muse of children's music and get them back to Castle Refuge so they can be protected. And you don't know exactly what happened between you accepting the mission and, and waking up here. But yeah, they tell you that the king of children's music has declared that no music shall be played forevermore. Um, yeah, so. That is a horrible right. prospect. I addressed the nearest one of these tinkers' cast offs and I asked them to point me in the nearest direction of the foul magic that's causing them so much grief. Oh, well, that's the heart of the kingdom. That's where the king is. And he's the one who, who put this edict that prevents us from playing or singing music. Show uh, me the heart of the kingdom, toy. Well, it's, it's, it's a very dangerous and fraught realm. There are many dangers. We will have to go that, but it's towards there, towards the fires in the distance. That that that's definitely the direction like, to go. Towards the fires. Is, is there a road that goes there? Yes, there is. Is like, is it colored? Yes. Grandma told me about this once. Yes, it's all the colors of the Lego. Oh, oh, okay. it's not the same story. Then nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, come along. I mean, the, if if we go to find the king then and kill can, him and kill him dead, then we can turn you back into your lizard form. Forward! We 
I brought I'm, I'm running a lizard. <laughs> um so yeah, you 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 continue along. Like, like, do I trip and fall? Like I'm running without a tail. I don't know how to do this. I don't know, are you? Yeah, I totally do. <laughs> okay. Make the toys carry you. You know what? Get, make a litter. Make a litter for you to be carried there, on by these There's a lot of toys. broken toys, and they are very... They're definitely hero-worshipping you. There. You ever seen the movie Paprika? Yeah. Okay. I, <laughs> imagine I feel, that scale. Steve has not seen that movie. I feel like if we were to link arms and just traipse our way down the line, we would probably get there faster. Well, Steve can't do that because he's, one, a child now, and two, he doesn't know how to walk without a tail to counterbalance himself. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. If we link arms with Steve, then if he starts to stack... You're too tall to link arms. Like, <sighs> Let the tiny ones carry him. <laughs> oh, I just... I oh, just... Could you please carry me? Of course! But, carry and I'm me like a fan, and, so I'm, and I'm thinking... What should we call you? I'm Steve. Steve! The hero! He is Hero Steve. Hero Steve! Like, like, I'm like bleeding a little from like hitting my head before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like just like dribbling joy. I like everyone was like, listen, I'm not very comfortable with this, but it's kind of how it has to work. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you you and the, the, the march of all the broken toys start heading towards the king, the heart of the kingdom. Um and like I'm like, like I can't pick up a car now. This is this is messing no, with my head. Yeah. Yes, this is weird. <laughs> Formerly powerful, now powerless. <laughs> like, like, so what you're saying is that he's like a babe in Toyland. <laughs> yes, that one as well. <laughs> well. Thank God I don't know much about human old human culture. Otherwise, I might be offended by these words you keep saying. <laughs> Honestly, you should be extremely offended. I am. No, I, I will be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> keep going. Excuse uh, me, young child. Can I ask you to co-sign on a load? Oh, I can't because you're a child. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. There's a little mechanical <laughs> banker just shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like a coin bank. He's like, no, no loans for you. Like, no co-signing <laughs> here. He's like, Cranberry, uh, you do know that one day that child wants a mortgage how <laughs> foolish <laughs> you do know that eventually this will go away and when it does I'm your commanding officer perhaps we can mortgage you a lollipop that would uh, turn your frown upside down I think yeah I'm going to I'm going to order you to do something horrible later <laughs> there's a lot of things you can do but I'm a wizard <laughs> well as he's a child and has no actual human rights we could technically sell him <laughs> now you're getting weird <laughs> <laughs> I don't, got to, like, I don't want to bring too money far, into this for God. All right, all of you can give me awareness all checks. All right, uh, is it awareness. Yeah, that's uh, or is it awareness. A lollipop before and he refused. So what is awareness? Notice. Notice. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. 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 It's a. Di- uh, it's the no. What? What's going on? Skill. Oh shit. That ex- oh, both. Say, hey. Both exploded. Yeah. Your your physical stats are D four now, but yeah, your mental stuff is fine. Uh, all right. So. Uh, okay. So uh, roll both because they both. One is. Uh, roll both, I, yeah. I, I roll five. I don't get it. Okay. That's a, no, if I, the base number is four. You just okay. Okay. oh, I got a fifteen. Okay, eleven. All right. So with a, you just get a regular four. You you hear noise up ahead. If you get above an eight, you can hear very clearly. Um, it is the tiny. You're, you're you can already recognize the tiny voice of animated toys, but these are angry toys that are giggling and cackling, and so you're you're on the road. Mar- march on the Lego Road, you and your your legion of broken toys, and but just over the hill, you can hear the sound of like another group of broken toys that are cackling, and uh, you can hear the sounds of plastic being shattered and metal being strained. You know, it sounds yeah, something intense is going on over the head. So uh, there are toys breaking other toys over there on the other side of the wall. It does sound angry. So, yeah, what do you want to do? Can I disguise myself as the king? But I wouldn't know what he looks like. I probably can't do that, right? You don't, yeah, you don't know what he looks I like. I don't know what he looks like. Damn it. Yeah. Like, it's like, well, there's put a fight. Yourself, put there's... yourself behind a curtain. Wait, do you have a spell that would like. Yeah, I have a, it's right here. And these, my power is called disguise. Disguise yourself as a toy. If you spend a Benny point, a, you could say that there is a toy with a official portrait of the king nearby you know okay. a little, a little like all right, it's like a little golden book like the king of children's music excellent yeah so yeah it's been a except minute. he's like wielding a switchblade threatening no no he's a very so the king of toyland is named gary 
Okay, yeah, of course it would be Gary. Gary is a regular middle-aged human um, who they, the local looks very odd. It says, Gary used to be a stamp collector and loved collecting stamps. But then the muse of children's music entered his, uh, uh, gave him power, which he thought he wanted. Gary's a king. He is an adult, but he is the king of children's music. So, yeah, so you can the wrong make a spellcasting show. <laughs> that happens. That happens in middle age. Yeah. Heard. That's a spell, not a skill. Right. Let's see what it can do. Oh, yeah. So that costs two power points uh, if you succeed. So I'll be rolling up. What's your spellcasting? Uh, there it is. There it is. 1d8. There it is. So a d6 and a d8. Yeah. Don't worry. You wear no mask. Yes. Six is going to be 14. <laughs> Damn. All right. Yeah, you are Gary. Cool. You look like Gary, and everyone, of course, all the toys saw you cast it, or at least the ones with you, so they're like, wow, what a great trick. It's like, he's a magician, you know. Ooh. All right. I saunter over the hill, and I, I look my enemy in the eye and hope I fool him. All right, so you see a there's a large group of broken toys that appear to be conducting some, like, very brutal slash jigsaw-esque torture puzzle, uh, trying to force each other to sing. Like, all right, if you don't sing, the clamps will get you. And then, you know, the toy, the little teddy bear is being pulled apart by clamps or they have some power tools that they got a hold of and they're using them to great effect. You know, like you don't want the power drill to turn on. You know, it's it's kind of like a little messed up. But and I uh, want to play a game. Yeah, they are like, we have to sing. What are we if we can't sing? They're, they, they've gone mad because they can't sing. Be by Edict of the King. By Edict of the King, yeah. I uneating it for them. They look at you. They, oh my god, it's Gary, the king of children's music. Yes, I was brought out here because I heard someone was doing it wrong. <laughs> and from what I can see here, this is just, 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 just there's hardly any sort of uh, organization. I mean, what, where'd you get this power tool? Who told you to use power tools? Who instructed you? Well, the demon toys did. The demon toy. If the demon toy told you to jump off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, if, he, if he told us that we would bring the music back, then yes, we would do that. If I sing for you, would you stop? <laughs> you do what I say, demon toys. No, I'm going to step forward again. Well, have you lifted your edict? I will, as soon as you tell me where these demon toys are. We oh. have to slay the demon toys, then you can sing. Oh, they went up, up ahead. Then you are going to join me, and we are going to get these toys so you can sing again. Well, they were coming to get you. Yeah, all the better to draw them. Just, I, I need... I, you're going to take this drill, Gary. and you're going to do something good with it for once. Hugh Gary, let me sing to them. Let's show how it's done. All right, yeah. Uh, roll <laughs> perform. Roll performance. Yeah. I'm going to say, like, I was hoping, oh, God, I'm probably not bass anymore. No, you're not. Well, actually, make a perform check. I'm doing it. Okay. I, were I, you a I, singer? I thought you played back up Backup vocals. Like, um, I, I was, I, they needed the bit. I'm going to bass. Sing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Go and sing. So, Six. Yeah. Uh, what do you sound like? Uh, give me a second. You'd be Hakun Mitsu. Ready? Yeah. Chippy, chippy, chapa, chapa, dooby, dooby, dabba, dabba, magical, dooby, dooby, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> the, 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 it placates the mad toys. Eh? <laughs> well, it sounds. It's, like it's a meme song yeah. about it. It's but like, it sounds kind of like a Vocaloid because you know, you're a robot. <laughs> no, no. It, it's it's actually technically from Chile. I was just talking about your, your character. Oh, yeah. I was doing that. Yeah. So, yeah. But I was like, going to sound mean as hell. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, toys love beamy type songs. Yeah. So, yeah. We imagine little cats. The, the yeah, so you find that the demon toys start showing up with a bunch of stuff from the the adult world. You kind of realize that obviously you're guessing that probably the Federation of Magic sent some agents in and okay. they got transformed like adult, into demon not toys. Adult to- Anyhow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like power I'm tools and yeah, I'm not like going that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, they show the one episode of the Simpsons, this is what happens. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, Family Guy, forget about it. Yeah. Forget yeah. about it. Forget Anyhow, about it. Anyhow, it's like I said, yeah, I just like, I do the thing and I'll keep doing the thing as long as I mm-hmm. need to. So, no, that's enough. You just have to, that's dumb enough that the, the mad toys, you actually can kind of imitate it. You, you, yeah. you haven't totally lifted the edict, but like that, that singing has kind of like alleviated it so they can, they can mimic that. So they that, that yeah, so they're, they're, they join your horde of toys. We're all marching doing chippy chippy choppa choppa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was like, and I'm, just, and I'm just being carried up. I'm really in hell now, <laughs> and I'm going to keep going as long as I know because I know and you you can keep going forever because you're a machine. Yes. Steve, I am not machine. That lollipop yet? 
If I have a lollipop, you do not want to know what I'm going to do with it. Chippy, chippy, chop, chop. He's like, this eye is, one eye is just twitching involuntarily. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you, you can move on. You know, your mother and I spend a lot of money to bring you out here, Steve. At <laughs> <laughs> least you can do is appreciate it. <laughs> one day you'll have kids of your own. You'll understand why I brought you out. Just look to the tiger girl like... Can you give him a wedgie? Uh, <laughs> oh, the giant teddy bear? Yeah. yeah, all right, yeah. He starts marching over towards you, Cranberry, <laughs> trying to walk behind you. Are yeah, you? okay. I'm, like, okay I'm, the, I'm the king. Don't do this. I say no. But he's the zero savior. Are you really going to rate a child over me? Wait, no, I the saw king. you transform. I know you're not really the king. I'm going to mesmerize you until you do what I like. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the background. <laughs> do you have, actually have some kind of mind control thing? Are you just going to try to persuade him, convince you that you do? That's a pop on the nose. <laughs> He's, the nose. He's a big teddy bear. You can take it, yeah. He's like, okay. No! Well, yeah. Personal space, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. We'll get him. If someone comes over and grabs your pants, you tell him no too. Thank you. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no, I'm just like, keep like, I'll have my time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is the main reason I thought of this adventure. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, good. Steve, right. Steve's in hell. All right, very good. Um, so you continue on. This is again, it's like open, broken, just landfill countless toys and things as far as the eye can see aside from the lego path but you walk what seems to be hours you all start to get tired so uh, me <laughs> yeah your your toys they get to be getting to get a little slower apparently they have limits to their endurance too like all right oh hold, hold up hold up are you guys tired <laughs> all right we, we need to scavenge for new batteries yes we should repair for my the, my my stitching i need to restit re- repair my stitches Okay, uh, we're all going to take a rest here, everybody. Uh, okay, anybody that is in need of restitching, come over here. I've got a needle. I've got some thread. Okay, yeah. Like, so, you're going to start You're gonna start singing a song about sewing, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not going to sing a song about sewing. I'm just going to darn all of the broken toys. Thank you. I, that That's a relief. While well, I hum a very quiet little tune. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And so <laughs> let's see. <laughs> yeah, the DOT bot that goes over to you, Cranberry, is like, you've been quiet most of the time. Are you the wait, your spell wore off, by the way. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. It only lasts like ten minutes. So 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 the, the toys I fooled the way with it. Oh, by this point they're so happy to they don't hear. Give a, okay. But yeah, the music really they you brought the music back. So What was the day the music died? Well, that was when Steve made when Gary, the king of children's music. See, we brought the music back, but you know what we didn't bring back? Sexy. That's right. And you all, because this is <laughs> this, for this for family. <laughs> it's, it's a family picture. Yeah. So, yeah, video T bot. So you're you're an adult, aren't you? Yes. What is that like? Aggravating, <laughs> confounding. <laughs> oh. Most days. Oh well, why'd you why'd you grow up then? Oh well, for me, it's a pro- yeah, for most of us, uh, it's a process we can't help. Oh. We're eternally dissatisfied. You know, desire is the root of all suffering. And yet we cannot turn off that desire because, you know, we desire to grow, to change. But with that comes the price of aging and elongating. And Well, you know, we're just not smart enough to stop it. Oh. Well, it's fine. I'm so bad. bad. I'm not actually growing. I'm, cons- I'm a construct. See, if I replace all my parts with ultimate DOT bot, then I become the adult version of, of the uh, uh, myself, which is an alternate comics line that was meant as a, gr- meant as a gritty reboot. Was the film version was directed by someone named Zack Snyder. Uh, All of us just wince internally. Apparently, in that version, my character, I, I killed a lot of people. But uh, how curious! You dispense Jeopardy answers without anyone asking you. What else can you do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my my little lights pop on when I see beep beep beep. Endlessly entertaining. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> He's just he's just a little guy. Very curious about, you know, life among humans. Yeah. Yeah. I, said, I guess I'm just in the background trying to walk and was like, fuck, fuck! You're getting a little better at it. I'm gonna help him. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna help assist him in learning how to relearn how to walk. Just, I, I could like, up. I could do it on my own and fall again. <laughs> Listen, yeah, yeah. there's no problem in asking for help. <laughs> <laughs> 
when this is over, I'm going to kill something. No. He physically can't kill me. Not you. Like, I'm incapable of dying. I, why would I, I wouldn't harm my teammates. What kind of leader would I be? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to pants Wait, him at some point. Hold on. You're a leader now? Like, oh, yeah. I, I was, I'm, I'm currently the team. I'm the I'm an Ensign. Oh, wow. Then you're fully... Yes, he's right a leader and being a crying baby. <laughs> so, a wuss. <laughs> so therefore, you're fully within your right to pants somebody. Like, oh, that's going to happen. Okay, I did not understand that was how it worked. Like, there are, from what I understand, there are certain... Yeah, you're actually feeling really tuckered out. Like, you have a lot less endurance than you're like, used to. I don't like... Oh, God, no. Do you need <laughs> to just take a nap? Yes, sleep. Let all the adults stay up and have all the fun. That's when the ice cream comes out of the boy, when you're gone away. <laughs> it's like... like I can I, I'm actually thinking, I can sell them. Is something wrong with cranberry? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But if you want to, he's been different it. ever since the stats and disappeared. <laughs> yeah, we all go, 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 go. If you want, I can sing you to sleep. It won't be the same. Like, song. It, like cranberry. Like, is this about the bird? Oh, it could be about a lot of things. <laughs> but so I'm in control of you. <laughs> I just, I saw him go like, no, I'm going with mother. <laughs> I'm gonna take him off and yeah. sing him to sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like a coward. Go ahead. Are like, you gonna find like a structure in the ruins to? Is, uh, the, is there one? Sure. As like, oh, I go, like, you're not my dad. Not anymore. There's a Barbie dream house, of course. Yes. Uh, there's also that... probably like a dead engine Barbie dream car. Mm-hmm. There's also like, like a, a, Jeep. a giant GI Joe play set uh, that you that has a little. It's a little base. Uh, Anyhow, I'm, I'm gonna. Oh wait a minute, Castle Grayskull. Castle Grayskull. Yeah, yeah I'm that. gonna find him a nice place to lay down. Okay, I thought it was like a kid, not a baby. No, you're kidding. Like, these are giant, absolutely oh, okay. nice. enormous I'm going to lay down and, like, like you know, put a blanket over yeah. so sleep. All right, yeah. <laughs> but it's that, a rest. The last thing I say before I pass out is, when this is over, I will be making rectifications if there will be punishments. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll never talk about this again. And also, you're fine, though. Yeah. <laughs> is he ever talking about rectums again? He's so fascinated with them because he's a baby. <laughs> you know, I can't help but think quietly to myself, perhaps... The uh, albatross uh, kind of acted as a moral compass for you, kind of like a Jimmy Cricket or something. <laughs> oh no, you're a horrible monster! I mean, no, I think my team think my teammate turned into a baby. And it sucks for him. <laughs> like, <laughs> think so, about it. He can't drive. He, he can't get in the car. So is this a convenient? He can't go episode? online and buy something. No. Is this, is this like the most convenient episode for Yolanda Hayes to return? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> like, is this the sort of thing that you're going to do for the rest of this? Like. Not just this mission, but all of them until you get your bird back to normal? Oh, no. When he's a lizard person, he scares the shit out of me. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm getting my kicks now. <laughs> all right. And when he comes back, I'll just shrink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. well, that's your answer for everything. Shrink away. Well, God, it, it works. <laughs> if it helps, Yolanda Hayes has the trait of attractive. Mm-hmm. So she's a pretty mommy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. My mom's really hot. <laughs> that's gonna like make things really awkward later. Yeah. Right. So wait a minute. Since you've got a kid, are you going to call them Stacy now? It just to be Stacy's mom. And then hey. Yolanda Hayes is actually a song by um oh okay. I forget the name of the group, but yeah, it's uh, an actual song. So you have a little nap. You wake up a little refreshed. Okay. They have hot cocoa for you when you wake up. It's like thank you. Yeah. There's a little, again, my little microwave is like, yeah. gives you a big little salute, you know. Oh, good. Again, we won't discuss Has little this. legs. Like, <laughs> like, does it have little tiny marshmallows in it? Huh? Just and a stir tier. <laughs> and a tiny stir stick. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're like, adults also do this. This makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> so you continue on your march. And, but it. Fountains of Wayne. Fountains of Wayne, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stacey's mom, yeah. Anyway. Uh, the. Actress who played Stacey's mom in the music video was the female lead in Larva, the sci fi channel film I worked on. She also did some other films. She was also, yeah, a Sports Illustrated model. So, anyway, I right. think was, I this is what we're discussing as yeah. we're walking. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, so, like, the, uh, the wasteland becomes you start to see trees, dead trees. You it starts, you're walking into a forest. Um, as I see the dead trees, I go, This makes me sad. And it is dark, it is getting very, very dark. As the trees block out what little light is coming from above. It was always smoky. It's still smoky, but now it's just dark. So 
yeah, as you march, you have a lot of lights from some of the toys or light ups or light up dolls and, you know, tiny little flashlights and things like that. So you have a little bit of dim light around this this very long column of broken toys following all of you. But, you know, with the four leaders, as mentioned before. And yeah, you could all give me notice checks again. All right. Oh, that exploded. Well, didn't explode very much. 11. 17. 12. Okay. 7. All right. All of you make it. So in, in the distance. Like, like, all of our eyes are so locked It's more of your ears. You actually can. Oh, God, I have those things. Kind of here. And those of you who get above an 8 realize that the, these are like half, like, parts of it. It's like, think of like the creepiest nursery rhyme sung by a creepy British child that you can imagine. Uh, but oh, the only you're only hearing like 50% of it. Like it's coming in and out of phase. Like it's, it's, you're, it's not entirely there. And those of you who get above an eight also begin to see like little ghost children up ahead, like dancing and flitting between the trees. So we're getting some like Apex twin energy. Apex twin slash Nightmare on Elm Street dream scenes, no. you know, mm. like you can't, that's the thing is you realize is that you're not hearing the entire nursery rhyme and you're not hearing any of it. And is there a chance for me to recognize the whole thing? Yeah. Give me academics. I do have that. Mm-hmm. Oh, D10 wait, plus. you went to school. That's amazing. I'm a smart robot. <laughs> um, D10. All right. Go. Yeah. Plus two. Huh? By the way. I you have all right. That explodes. Plus one, but still 13. Yeah. So. Do you want me to dictate London, which one it is? Or? Just London Bridge. Yeah. Okay, I was going to go with the broken hair, but. Well, I know London Bridge. Uh, Bridge is unstructurally sound. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go with that. Up the road and down the stair, button bend with buck and hair, books the bus, your hair's thief, knocks the boy to bite the bus to be. I mean, all right, sure. That, that works. It's actually about Ray Rowling. So anyhow, oh, I figure it's creepy enough. So you realize that you, now you know what song you have to do, but you have to teach it to them, which means getting into close contact with the creepy ghost British children, um, which okay. would be hazardous in order to be around them long enough to teach it to them. So I don't know the hazard the ghosts pay to robots. So, yeah. So um, why are these ghosts hazardous as opposed to the ones we talked to in the MMO? Well, the ones in the MMO are sort of contained in that basically ghost busting sort of like cell or port, okay. yeah yeah container okay. like these are just ghosts out in the wild they can do whatever the fuck they want there's okay. no there's no limitations there's no magic constraining I, them. I explain this to the group that like you know i don't know exactly how this is going to work but if i could teach them the whole song maybe they could help us or just not kill us well if you need to go you i mean you need to get through the forest and so you can either try and teach it and placate them but whoever does that We'll be at some kind of risk. So I could teach them, but the problem is I am at risk. Mm -hmm. So how about this? If two of us go, that means that the risk is shared between two. So that means that it's diminished for what one person would face. (coughs) So why don't I go with you? I should should go. I can teach. I should go because I'm also a kid. Okay. Which I spit out those last words. So they might listen listen to me more. Okay. You're going to recover. And I need to be there with my gun to threaten them. <laughs> I suppose that works. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Because guns are so clearly effective on those already dead. Maybe. They don't know that. Neither do I, really. Yeah, they're, they're, they're ghosts of children. They're dumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, oh, that's just wow. <laughs> they don't know better. Yeah. All right, See, we're that, getting that, the that's game. Cranberry's attitude. Now you get it, Ross. Right. So, all right, we're getting the band together. Let's do all this. Right. So you head out in the woods to to deal with the creepy ghost British children. As, 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 you guys wait here. We're like we're gonna go deal with this. Yay! That's why you're a hero. We're like, going to like, yeah, tell yeah. them we're gonna make new friends. Yay! Friends, not murder ghosts. Yes. So everyone, give me a spirit check. This is to resist fear. Um, it turns out the, the so it just is, it's. The Just, plus, you you get your the, wild well, eye. Yeah, yeah. I actually get a bonus. Ooh, that's, that's a six. I. Minus okay. that I get to so, re-roll. So I've only got a seven. Oh, okay. wait, wait, do I roll a d6 as well? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you always get to roll a d6. Okay. I roll a six on that. Okay, roll again. Down. So that's either a 10 or a 10. Okay, well, Nine. I think it's a ten. Sorry, 10 or 11. Okay, well, plus, probably the 11. One. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, I get plus one because I, I am nine. strong. Well, you had the plus to either roll. So, yeah. like, whatever's high. Like I said, so that was the one. Nine. 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 That was 
that sounds like that was the lowest number. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you all resist the fear, so you're able to act as the these pale, ethereal ghost children dressed up like the Victorian era start skipping and rope and dancing and trying to da- or sing around you. And they're they're just you all feel cold. You can see your breath in the air. The 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 I hairs of the back yeah back of your neck. Well, those you can do. And yeah, you you just feel like your the their their touch is deadly. So yeah, you need to be very careful. But you keep your shit together. And they're just kind of like they're sort of in a trance. They're not like they're they're trying. They're also trying to remember these nursery rhymes, but they can't complete them. Yolanda so. will present herself, yeah, gently and say, "Hello, children. How are you today?" All right, yeah, give me a perform check. I do have that. Hold on. We all do. Yeah. <laughs> if we do a group performance, yeah, everyone can give me perform. So it's roll. Okay. Yeah. Vocation. You were all taught the nursery rhyme Eight. by Yolanda, so you can all like sing it through. Eight plus seven. Now we're talking. Yeah. Ten. Why can I have math right now? It's Fifteen, and I get a plus one from being attractive. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, sixteen. You're putting up real serious mom energy right yeah. now. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> or uh, yeah, hair at least. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like Mary Poppins. Yeah, I'm Mary, I'm Mary Poppins, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so with those, you have enough successes that you're you're able to so, teach it. So ten, I'm going to teach them whatever it is. I'm going to teach them both forms of rhymes if I can. Uh, what about you, Cranberry? I got seven. Seven, yeah. So you're teaching it to them, and now you realize the only problem is now gracefully avoiding them while not running, just running away while you're doing it because they're dancing and playing about you, and you need to avoid the right. deadly, deadly. Touch. All right, guys. Here's what we got to do. We have to dance along with them, but carefully keep you know keep pace with them. Yeah, Let's get, we, we have to synchronize them. this. So Why you, do we have them lead us. Does, does, does my does my environmental protection afford us any protection against ghost touch? Uh, no, damn it. I'm yeah. gonna say they should lead us in the direction we're going. Uh, they should be ahead of us. Well, no, they're 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 doing their own thing. Like, okay. uh, yeah, they're not okay, so like, like they're that. they're kind of All in right. a trance. We're gonna have to dance. We're gonna have to dance with them. So yeah, you can try and dance them with them. You can try. There's any numbers there. Just tell me what you want to do. I'll tell you what role. So dancing with them would be athletics. Would be yeah. the easiest way to do that. That's and you can I'm... do that without penalty because that's agility and not brute strength. So if you have something else, like do you have a levitate or a fly spell? I got athletics. I got a one d six. Okay, yeah, you can just also. Oh shit! I'm gonna let him leave that fucking shot. Oh shit! Ten. The dice are nice. Too. All right. Well, this is the best roll I've rolled all day. Okay. Twenty-eight. Jesus. Holy fuck! I don't right. have to roll. I'm not gonna bother rolling. That's not sure. <laughs> shit. Okay. I was like, like, oh god, like. That's amazing and terrifying. Like and like, oh god, I'm like, I'm dancing like I did. Oh, as a you're kid. mirroring them perfectly. Oh, oh no! As he's doing that, I'm just gonna. Steve, you can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. So, uh, <laughs> so you got a seven, or again, or what'd you get? I had a six, and then a four, ten, ten, and you got a uh, twenty-eight. Two, and I got a nine. Do I need to roll? Yes. Okay. If yeah, you man. don't want to be touched, there's a bunch of these ghostly motherfuckers dancing around you, and they're all cranberry. Put the boogie on. You do it. Yeah. Can you not? I mean, are you not Is good? Or okay. A four is you will be brushed by one, so you will take a wound as your circuits, as you feel the effects of entropy. Your your you uh, does armor armor doesn't help with this. Not with this. No, yeah. this is this is uh, ghost bullshit. So it's on the right side. Is that, uh, is that technical term? Okay. Hmm? Ghost bullshit. That's yeah. technical. Okay, good. Yeah. But for you in particular, Steve, you're mirroring one ghost boy who looks very close to you, only wearing you know little. He's wearing a little suit. Uh, <laughs> I was like. I was like I was like being, I, I'm, I, I'm completely matching with like, I mean, being a, being a human kid's bad enough, but I had to wear that. Oh my God, I feel sorry for this kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, in a little school boy outfit. My like, name is, is Nigel. <laughs> like, hi, Nigel. I'm. Steve. My mother sent me to the moors at night. Like, Jesus. <laughs> she said I was a burden to the family, and her new husband did oh. not want to care for me. I was like, that bitch. It's okay. She she said that old Mother Crone would find me and take care of me. I was so cold for so long. Uh, well, we're gonna warm you. Like we're gonna warm you up here. <laughs> oh, that was so good of you. Like, that's right, kid. Like, will like, you tell me your name? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm. That's right, Steve. Play therapist. It's like, yes, I'm Stevie. Stevie. 
<laughs> I'll find you in your dreams. <laughs> like, <I was> like, <laughs> that's not ominous at I, all, I, I stop, Steve. I'm, I'm just, Man, he probably will. Oh, that's true. <laughs> now you got a friend for life. <laughs> and all right. Um, and so the mist parts and all the ghosts vanish all at once. But you hear the echoes of the completed rhyme in the woods falling, fading away. Um, right. Okay. Good, I, so good, good job, everyone. Good job. Good job. I am going to have a ghost kid visiting me in my dreams. Just cool. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, Steve. Me. Right. You know what would make you feel a little bit better? It, be, it, to it, it better not be an answer that you're going to write. That's all you can do. <laughs> yeah. Like, is it? Is it? Maybe. <laughs> well, you're, it's a, you're, you're going to want to say it until you finally do. So instead of just letting that, just say it. Would you like a lollipop? No! <laughs> I think he wants a popsicle. Oh. Like, well, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think better. he wants a spanking. <laughs> it's like, it's like put your okay, life. if anybody announces they want, that somebody else wants a spanking, they clearly want it themselves. Which All means right. you need therapy. <laughs> you continue on. I need Stetson. <laughs> you do. You continue on, and the, and the forest it, it ends, and you begin to see a very bright light coming up ahead. But it's coming up from the ground, and you realize you can see like parts of buildings, but their roofs are a lot lower than they should be. Um, and and you look, and you can see the path has been blocked because. This town used to be a town of athletic fun and things like that, but it turns out the floor really is lava. Oh. And you need to, you, you see stones and bits of buildings that are still sticking up and, and seem to be stalwart, but you're going to, you, you don't see any way around it other than going through, hopping from high spot to high spot. Um, there are only two solutions to this. Problem. But you can give me notice checks, or you can do if you just want to search the area, or at least one person who wants to pick a path. Who do you trust to figure out the safest path? That person can do that. Another person can try and like talk to the broken toys. Uh, you think you're going to need their help when you get to the king? It's okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look ahead, and I'll tell you guys what or where to step. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to activate my griffin. Climb onto its back and float over top. Okay, yeah, give me, give me a nose check. I'll give you a plus four bonus for that. While he's doing this, I go, there's only two solutions to this. One, we find the path across, or two, all of you have to pee a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you said a plus four? Mm-hmm. So that's going to be a nine. Okay. So with a nine, you can see that there is a drawbridge on the other side that you could lower down, but it is being guarded by some murderous, well, evil, demonic do- toys, perhaps. And there's a lot of them. Um, so you, they, they, it looks like you're going to have to deal with their, their rear, the, this team of demonic toys. They're, they're here set to make sure you don't proceed forward. So you see that they see you because, you know, it, there is a bunch of light coming up from the lava. So they see you and they start readying catapult. Um, and they, you don't, you can't really make out what's in the catapult from here, but yeah. What do you want to do? Oh, yeah. Return back. Tell everybody what's okay. ahead. All right. Yeah. So you return back. Like they don't have time to log. launch it. Yeah. Yeah. Cranberry. So what, what, what does it, what does it look like where the enemy is? I mean, where are they situated? He describe how they're set up. They're set up on the far side of the, across on the, where the, after the lava ends. So like, okay. like just a picture, a big ravine or a big lava river okay. going across the middle of this town. You're on one side. They're on the other. Are they so, standing under anything like a, so um, like a laminated roof or trees or anything? Do you see that old castle place set with the extra ease at the end of half of those words? So they're set up inside of that. There's a bunch of demonic toys, and they've got a demonic toy catapult that's loaded with something. Can I use my blast spell to cause uh, the roof to collapse on this thing again? If you spend a Benny point, I'll say the roof is there. Okay. They're under a roof, yeah. All right. Actually, no, yeah, I can say even better. They're on a, a castle parapet that looks very fragile, and you spot a weak spot. It's well. All right. Time All to blast it. All right. But, yeah, the problem is, what's the range of your blast spell? Uh, you're pretty far away. You may not be able to reach it uh, on your side of the lava river. You may have to get in the middle and then blast them. Oh, I, I, oh yeah, I know. I'm going to get your soul across. The it's lava. okay. Range is smarts times two. Times two. So yeah. that's going to be. I have a one d ten. I'm fairly certain that the Griffin can carry both yeah. of us, 
Or if not, I will hop off of the griffin. You can climb onto its back and then get far enough over and then blast from a griffin back. Yeah, you could do a bombing run, essentially, or blasting run. Is there a possibility right of diplomacy? All right. I already did that. It was boring. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice. All right, so Cranberry, you got so, That's how good a disguise it was. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. You get on board. The You, you climb atop the griffin. It, it flies over. The This is going to be... Give me agility to see if you go before the catapult does. You see that... Well, it just... That's a four. All right, yeah. You go first. Give me a spell casting check. Spell casting. It's going to be a four. Four, okay. And yeah, that will hit. Roll damage. You need at least an eight. Damage, okay. And that's going to be... What is damage on the blast? By default, I think it's just two. So you're going to need a 2d6 damage. Uh, you can... If you spend an additional two power points, it was three to cast base. Plus two, that would, it would make it 3d6. Let's see here. I, I need to save my power because I'm running out. So two, You can always throw in a Benny to get all of your power back. Okay. So when you run out of points, you can just kind of go, here's a Benny, refill me. Okay, well, in that case... Uh, Fill me up. Yeah, you need eight to damage the paraffin. And all. Okay, so that's going to tap me out of power points, I think. Uh, eight total? Yeah. All right, so that's going to be nine, 13. 13, yeah. Well, that's enough. You you, you zap it, the, the kind of foam goes under, and you are... The, the demonic toys start fleeing rather than face aerial bombardment. Uh, you did take away their big Didn't range have- weapon. Didn't expect the G-130. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you continue on. Or you 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 can lower the drawbridge and get across there. So... Like, like let's, hear for the, let's hear it for the griffin, everyone. Yay! <laughs> um, does the griffin have a name? I don't know, does it? It's just the tattoo that is below my right bicep. Or, I mean, below my right, right breast. It's, like, so, right here. So you do e. have a name. Bicephalus. It's E. Bicephalus. Oh. Yay, Bicephalus! <laughs> yeah. Bicephalus the Griffin, what <laughs> wonders you hold! So. I want tattoos. <laughs> I want tattoos, yeah. <laughs> I'm impressionable! <laughs> Uh, they start making little tattoo guns for themselves uh, <laughs> and start tatting themselves up with little griffins. Uh, it's they, go, they, go, they go with tribal. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they, 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 monkey, yeah, they see they do, so yeah. So the only problem now is when you get to get on the other side, you can see that there is a a vast ocean. And they say, oh, well, yeah, the king city is across the ocean. And there is a bit of a town, though. And they say, so the, 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 there, there's actually other broken toys here. All right, then not all of them are broken. So it's like a, it's, a, it's an actual town. Cute little JRPG town. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they you need to figure out a way to get across the ocean. Again. So, uh, and you actually see adults like humans too for the first time uh going about their daily business and it seems like there's all there's been some commotion lately um in the distance you can see the outline of a plane flying away and you can see that there is a little airstrip by the town and there is one plane left so at least in the distance you're you're sort of on the edge of town or, or mar- marching in the town as well so yeah it's you you four plus your your legion of toys I have aquatic adaptation. What is the largest sea mammal I could turn into? Uh, well, I don't think that turns you into an animal. I think that just lets you breathe underwater. I probably morphed into a crocodile one time. Oh, that was disguise. Disguise. Oh, okay. No, no, I thought it turned. And you weren't okay. really a crocodile. On a side, I felt like it though. Uh, what does it take to recover from? <laughs> Wait, no, that's uh, well. What, let me let me look at it. No, so that's what's wrong with cranberry. You you to be a crocodile. Could have done both. Like uh, let's see, environmental. We can help you with that. Yeah. I think that might have adjusted. Uh, the specific. right spell will do it, or time will do it. That's why I got to figure out how long. Do, 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 do. I think it was a specific ocean wizard thing. Things. Like do that. that, you could definitely turn into a dolphin or small whale. You don't know if you could get your friends across. You certainly couldn't get the legion of toys with you. It's a matter of getting the whole group across. Then yeah, plane. yeah. The plane. Well, there is a plane at the airstrip. You can go check that out. All right. It, is a, it looks like a large plane from a distance, like a big cargo plane. Yeah, but there's you know there there's an inn there there are stores there there's markets there's people going about their daily business. Yeah, it is kind of quaint. In fact, you'll call. Fee, fee, well, no, there's no music though. So yeah, everyone seems kind of like like something's wrong, but they don't know what. Everyone seems oddly de- well, not oddly, but depressed. 
And like, yeah, it doesn't take long to realize, yeah, there should be music. As you, you see like a woman burst out of a window and like, we should take a short like she was here. about to sing and then just like oh. we should take a short rest here and maybe reintroduce them to some things they need yeah so yeah i'll just let everybody go around and ask what they want to do steve what do you want to do right well i'll tell you ross yeah i want to be what i was before but that's not an option right now no, yeah so i want to get this i want to find this views as quickly as possible uh-huh in across. the meantime don't you want to be where the people are? <laughs> yes. So let's go do that. Don't you want to see, want to see them dancing? <laughs> sure. Walking along down a, what's that word again? Street. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David gets a, a bidding. <laughs> All right. Well, that'd, be, that'd be what I was about. So, uh, by, the way, by the way, how old do I look, by the way? This definitely pre Teen, pretty, I'll say like pretty, ten. Yeah, I was like, so I look like a ten-year-old with a thousand-yard stare right sure. now. Yeah, I'm thinking Macaulay Culkin, but he didn't. He didn't get the robbers. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! no, no this no, is, maybe he did get the robbers, but like, oh okay, yeah, like too about, much. Yeah, yeah. No, Frankly, like, I know the look that he has. It's the same look that, that the can't hit that guy in the head. He just all the lone wolf and cop movies. <laughs> oh yeah, he like, can't get like, that oh, high anymore. Dear father, perfect murder. Don't be hitting that. His therapist said it's okay, and he's like, yeah, I know it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, it's not okay. It's like, what do you, man? Make up your mind. Yeah. Um, like, like, then I'm like, I'm just like, I guess I'm walking on my own now. Cause yeah, yeah. You, you would have you're not walking on your own. You're walking with me. We're singing. Aww. Like, oh, no, you're singing. I'm. I, I was, <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm staring ahead, not actually really looking at anything. Okay. Don't right. leave him alone. He has to have a chaperone at all times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No uh, fun. So you're making your way downtown. It's like, hey, Walking fast. Actually, like, <laughs> it's like, hey, hey. It's like, hey, go. can you sneak at all? Yes. You know what would really make me smile? What's that? Sneak up behind Cranberry and pants him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that, Steve. Why? Because he's also got magic. But don't worry. Once you're back to normal... You'll terrify him. But that's then. This is now. You're, you're a cook, right? You're, you're a master chef? Yeah, Don't look, you know that revenge is a dish that is best served cold? Like I, I happen to disagree. It's a dish that should be served spicy with a, with a certain level of sweet and heat, sweetness and heat to go with it. <laughs> Tell me about it. What is the perfect recipe for revenge? Like, oh, well, what I, like, all I think is like you, like you definitely have to have a strong pepper. I would go maybe as far as Carolina Reaper. That only depends on the level of revenge. All of that, but you have to hide it. You have to put it in the dish so it doesn't look like. I mean, you've seen some dishes where if you put too much pepper in, it just looks like it's molten <laughs> lava from redness. All right. So this continues on. It's, you, you confuse revenge with but my viral eyes focus. YouTube recipe. But my yeah. eyes, hey, my eyes focus again. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You brought out of your reverie. Meanwhile, you. It all... wasn't reverie, Ross. Okay. Yeah. Existential what, dread. Does okay. anybody have repair? There's a couple. As it turns out, I do. Okay. Joke answer of what I'm doing is this is not really what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I just have to say it. It's like there's no music in town. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Booty. booty. <laughs> and uh, no, and real, realistically, I'm going to approach Cranberry like my circuits are off. Okay, can you fix that? I will. I'll roll these two cubes. <laughs> Thank you. Be healed for you, to, and the number was five upon one of them. Is that good enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In return, I will simply reassure you of something. We still have a little bit of time for you to make fun of the lizard guy. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm taking this up. I'm eating the whole thing. The dog is eating. <laughs> if you need any assistance... The dog is hungry. If you need oh, any assistance... No. If you need a second person, a, a straight person to like, sort of like play off of your like bouquet kind of fun... Tell me now. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm offering assistance. Yeah, yeah. Of time. All right. I just announced my I sense something's happening. <laughs> but I don't know what. All right. Like, why is this the darkest realm we've ever gone into? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I do know that the lights are much brighter there. You can forget all your troubles. Forget all your cares and go. Down! 
wrong town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I rely on, I, I aggressively and angrily sing along with that. All right, give me perform checks. <laughs> this remind me of the fact that I literally just want to see like one movie with like a massive like aerial. Uh, uh, what's it called? Massive areola? Yes, I'd like to see one as well. <laughs> no, like, like a bunch of like people like a massive yeah, she was aerial, a girl, right? Yeah. A massive aerial deployment of like <laughs> troops set to cheers. Oh yeah. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you wanna go where everybody is like it was like, jumping off with guns and shit. Yeah, so I got a nine. <laughs> okay. I got a thirteen. So yeah, you your 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 impromptu singing actually kind of wakes up or, or sort of like snaps them out of their, their funk, some of the townspeople around you. And they're like, thank you so much. That was so nice. It reminds us of the before times. Um, it's like, does it? I wouldn't know. Like Toby and his friends were were learning lessons about life. And but boy, they oh, were. Oh, Christ. Who's Toby? Oh, he's he's a kid. His parents just went through a divorce and he's trying to find his place in the world. And he, he has a gang of friends who are unlikely outsiders, but they're the underdogs, really, if you think about it. And they were they were trying to fix up that broken old plane at the airstrip. But I guess they'll never do it now because everyone's too depressed to act anymore. You know, what this sounds like they need a musical montage, Steve. We could provide a musical <laughs> montage. They could fix everything with a montage. Even Rocky had a montage, Steve. <laughs> Does the hurting stop? I don't know. They're like, fine, let's go down there and like, let's go down there and just inspire the fuck out of them. All right. Uh, so you're heading down to the airstrip. I'll even try to not sing angry. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Chris, make sure he's wearing those dress shoes. We spent a lot of money on those. Well, each of you will get to describe one of these young kid, you know, preteens of this gang of underdogs. Oh, yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. You can play, remind me now I have to wear shoes because my feet get injured easily. Mm-hmm. You do. They're wearing Uggs for no reason. Well, no. Okay. So <laughs> we'll do one. One kid. So Toby, what does Toby look like? He, he definitely looks like the protagonist, the main protagonist of a kid's adventure movie from the 90s. Like, what, what archetype of kid is Toby? He's a fucking French Savage. There we go. Oh, is, yeah. Is there anyone more average than Fred fucking Savage from the 80s? <laughs> yeah. Fred, good listening. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fred Savage, another RPPR listener, like so many other celebrities. <laughs> uh, Big fan. Big fan. Hi, it's Toby. Isn't it a wonder? This is a my, what you might call my wonder year, but yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. He, he did it. Hi, I'm he Toby. I look like Fred Savage. Uh, so, you uh, might recognize me from a certain movie. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, what's one of Toby's friends? Who's one of Toby's friends? I'm going to like be so cursed right now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say Bridget Terabithia. Anyhow, <laughs> it's like special different well just t- describe what what this person looks like she she's like not like other girls one of those yeah okay. she's got a special scarf it's like she like a tomboy colors. or is she artistic both okay. at the same time okay and yeah a little bit alt but not quite fully very manic pixie girl but for but kids not, not all the way like, yeah. like, like permissible within limits you know okay. like, 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 like not like full she's a free spirit yes all and right. you can't hold her back but unfortunately she's doomed yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I have a deadly allergy to bees. I hope there's no bees around here. Right. No, yeah. she has a deadly allergy to falling long distances. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was in the movie. <laughs> um, are you having fun? Are you, Ross? Yeah. No. It's yeah. It's what I asked for. So, I David, told you, I told you I was going to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we have Fred Savage. We have Manic Pixie Girl. So his name is Frank. Frank, Frank Lisa. Frank Lisa, okay. He is wearing 87 <laughs> different colors, every one of them brighter than the last. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He is okay. kind of an icon. And then he's got that keeper full of trappers. I see what you did there. He's the <laughs> wacky one. And yeah, Tom, who's the last friend? It's probably the big guy, right? They, they got a big guy. Big yes, kid. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Is it a jock or is he? Does no, he have no. an ironic nickname? Is he called oh, yeah, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, tell us about the big kid. Basically, uh, I don't, okay, yeah, he's big, but not quite in the jock way. Okay. He's like the chunk of the group. Okay. Oh, he's Name after a beast of burden. Do they call him chunk? Ox, buffalo, bison. Uh, moose. Moose. Moose is pretty good. Moose is pretty good. Classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's moose, and but uh, also like, but... No one dares make fun of him for his weight and size because he also looks like he could 
He's tough. He's tough. He grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. The wrong side of the Golden Corral. His dad is working class. (laughs) Blue collar. (laughs) He knows how to make those tricks. I'm sorry. Probably played by Josh. His dad is probably placed by uh, Josh Brolin. Yeah. Yeah, That's right, Ross. He he came from the bad side of the Golden Corral. (laughs) Oh, my God. The part with the the extra gravy. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) His dad carves up all the meat there. Yeah. Yeah. And my dad works at Golden Corral. (laughs) Oh, my God. You might have to say that. Eat it. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys have been game last night. So I guess like this, this is our group, right? Uh, <laughs> um, you ever doing a spinoff game of Kids on Bikes? We'll just put it. It's a fractal game. Like we'll just keep getting going in games. They'll start playing D and D, and then and then those D and D characters are going to find a portal inside a game, inside to a game. eclipse phase. And, <laughs> right. and yeah. they're going to make characters, and we're going to play those characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, there you go. so this is the game within the game. Yeah, we'll just we can go deeper. Is it um, horrible? That leave me inside someone other. interesting. <laughs> is it horrible that I would unironically, I would unironically play this? Yeah. I was going to say, it's a horrible that I, I, I would unironically play this campaign. Oh, sure. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I tend to do that in every campaign sooner or later. It's like, let's run it in a different system. Uh, which just like by keep no changing loves. every session. Not every session, though. I should do that, though. Anyway. Um you find these kids. They're 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 trying. They 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 have this cargo plane. They have all this rule set up. They have like a huge thing of pieces of parts for this this ship, this plane to be fixed. But they're just they're not motivated. Do you guys know what we need to do to motivate them? Uh, just montage. All right. I guess. I guess. I guess I'll sing. <sighs> Everyone give me a uh, yeah, perform check. Is there anything that we can't do through the power of song? That's kind of the whole theme of this campaign is the answer is no. You can do everything with music. Um. <laughs> so if you get two sixes in a row on the D6. Keep going. Yeah. If it's the same music. Six, six, two, eight. Okay. Give me a second. And plus my performance is plus one, so nine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so Cranberry, what you? No, 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 the 13. Sorry. Okay. Oh, What'd you get? I got a five. And what are you playing? Well, if he's singing, I was I was the vocalist, but he, but 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 Sean's character is singing. Uh, Sorry, uh, no, no, I just I just <laughs> go there and do my you know my 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 my, my bass backup, so to speak. Just uh, bass guitar. No, nah, you know, no, I will try to harmonize with Sean's character. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm singing in a language they do not know. You, John, it has to be in English. <laughs> no, it does not. I can be Japanese. No, it cannot. It is. This is a kids' movie. They won't understand. Fuck the kids. It. <laughs> no. Sorry. Wrong kind. No. Of- <laughs> <laughs> not literally. Oh, Toy police officer comes. Your <laughs> <laughs> character has been removed from the game. No, it's, it's, it's the Michael Jordan fuck the kids like that. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> People know I'm joking. Disregard those children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You ever been in a Turkish prison? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you like, you like, uh, like movies. <laughs> so you're singing Yolanda. It's a very 90s inspirational. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, what, like is this video. synth pop or is this like rock? I was going to go with like over the top R&B. If, <laughs> okay. I can't, if I can't pick my own music, I'm right, going to yeah. go with like that full on Beyonce shit. Like, like, uh, like, like Disney's Hercules kind of thing? Yeah. Like, uh, could, be, could, be, could there be some sentient bongos? Sure. I'm playing those. All right, yeah. Sentient bongos? He sentient. wants to hurt somebody. I yeah, understand. They, they, Very they, stressed. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know how it feels. <laughs> it's okay, Steve. You can hit me as hard as you can with your tiny little arms. Like, oh, and I talk, God. Oh, ah, you just made it weird. <laughs> tiny infection palms. Oh, raw and soft and slapping cattle skin. Oh, it hurts. Doesn't it? Was like three of the like, like five fingers and... Don't worry. Are, 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 they, are these human claws? I ask you. It's the same. the bar is like it's okay. You're, t- you're you don't have enough muscle to hurt me. I, I just <laughs> shrieking in rage, which makes I rolled a ten to play them. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Forty four. What do you play again? I I play a steel guitar. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta have that rock backing. Yeah, yeah. And I rolled six plus six plus five, which is 17. Yeah. Yeah. No, no we're, we're just, we're, it's an absolute yeah. banger. You, and it's literally, you all just walk up and start playing and the kids are like, what? And they, they start rocking out. And, 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 and some of the lyrics says, fix that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fix that shit. Fix that shit. Yeah. We, we don't say that word. Yeah. 
We say fix fix that shiz. Yeah. But apparently Disney's okay with that. Yeah. So or fix that whip. Shiz that. There we go. Yeah. Fix that. Fix that shiz that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like the holes in your personal life. Yeah. <laughs> Your parents divorced, but you have to get over it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> builds character. He builds character. So yeah, you inspire them to to finish the plane, and it's a big cargo plane, so you can take it across the ocean. And the kids are like, "Thanks, strangers, for showing us how to to get motivated." so we can get through this best summer of our lives great and as we get on the plane like if this is the best summer of their lives their lives are going to be hell it's like <laughs> I, like mine mm-hmm. i know oh, hell. i've seen hell you're in it aren't you <laughs> like i am right smack dab in the front no, boiling, like just boiling in the middle of a big pot of uh, it's okay badness. you'll come back they won't they'll forever be living in this moment that makes me feel better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, they're not real. I don't think they're real. Are they? I Who's to say? It's magic. I don't know anything about magic. I mean, I'm not sure any of you are real. I am. You could just be simulations. What if I'm still in the pre time? Well, Tris, the uh, Barbie has. Like, it's possible they were actually normal people pulled into the realm and essentially brainwashed to destroy any of their previous oh. identities. And actually, they oh, they're doing identities. fine. Oh, they don't realize they were once adults. Okay, they're fine. Yeah. I'll just go, that's very astute of you, actually. We should bring you back home with us, if we can. <laughs> Yolanda found a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I like makeup. You know, every girl just wants a little head. Yeah. Anyway, um, sorry, but, uh, sorry. Uh, that was... <laughs> so, who's piloting the plane, by the way? Dave, uh, pilot of skill? Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. All right, which one of you thought the fly things? I can technically do it, but I'm not good. Mm-hmm. I can also technically do it, but I'm not good. Time to not goose across the ocean, then, gentlemen. Good luck. I can D6 it. All right. D6 it. Do you have better? No. I'm a I mean, jack of all trades. I mean, can I, I spend a Benny to boost his roll? I can spend a Benny. Yeah. I've he, got four Bennies. Well, okay. if, you re, if you need to re-roll. So you so, get yeah. No, and I get a bonus if I re-roll. Yeah. That's true. So uh, Rolling? Well, you get to roll two D6, remember, because oh, right. you always get your wild die. Yeah. One's a better re-roll. Spending a Benny. Yep. Because that would be a critical failure, actually. They're both ones. Uh, That's six. a five. That's a, actually a seven, technically. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Five so. on the die is a seven, so that's great. Yeah. So. <laughs> somehow the uh, somehow the, the robot just gets some All right. Strap in. In the in the pipe. Five by five. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Instead of a water landing, our exits are here, 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 and probably everywhere you, else you're, you're, the roof It takes fly. hours to get across the ocean yeah. in the plane. Does anybody see anything unusual in the ocean as you're, as you're flying over it? Uh, let's see, perhaps. A, a, there's thousands of inflated <laughs> pools of toys, marooned. Yeah. yeah. An entire sea of pool noodles. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like the Sargasso? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But, but pool noodles. Yeah, there's big Lego ships stuck in it. The Lego people are fr- just waving for help. Oh, you're you're fuck, you're fucked. <laughs> well, yeah. you're made of plastic. Yeah, I'm big not. toy, <laughs> big toy kaiju. Big toy kaiju. Yeah. So you know how there are those pool floats? Mm-hmm. Have you seen the one that is like the giant, like thirty-seven person pool float? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, like one of those, but entirely full of. Clearly not supposed to be in water toys. Like there's a bunch of like Barbies on top of it that are just afraid to fall into the water. Damn. Yeah. Surrounded by mechanical sharks. Okay, yeah, no. Oh, that got dark. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the, the king's kind of made the kingdom all bad. So, yeah. But you land at the capital. This is the capital of the the realm of children's music. All kinds of wonderment are here. They would be here. Uh, well, it would be wondrous if it wasn't terrifying. It's obviously the city is in chaos. There are riots in the streets as toys are fighting toys. Toys are fighting humans. And after we, de- after we debark, I just go, it sounds like the Smiths are playing. Uh, <laughs> the, the castle's in the center of it, but it is completely surrounded by what appears to be statues. But as you, you, you give it a little flyover, you can see that they are people frozen like frozen absolutely not like ooh, through ice but through magic they're like like 
freezing them in frame. Like you, you pause them and they're all fro- like giving up grand gestures. And all of you have enough magical musical knowledge to realize they were in the middle of big, giving a big musical performance number, like the big, you know, like as they end the song, every ends on a high note with their arms raised up and like that. And then it, it just froze them there. And so the castle is entirely surrounded by these figures forming a barrier to prevent anyone from getting in. Um, and it's like a Tom Waits song come to life. Yeah, exactly. In the old toys, frozen in time. In the one-legged man. Yeah. So <laughs> where do you want to land the plane? You can land it at the outskirts of the capital, or you could try and – that barrier does look too – you can't get directly get in the castle. I'm sorry, obviously. guys. Yeah, yeah. If, if we're going off of, like, my minimal jack-of-all-trades thing, we should not go for anything advanced. Um, oh, yeah, you could just land on the outskirts without making yeah. it all. No, ditch the plane into the castle. We got parachutes. <laughs> Do we? That's uh, actually a good question. Uh, Benny says we got parachutes. Uh, yeah, you do. All right. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to aim that thing at uh, what you perceive to be the most delicate part, and we're going to jump out, and they're going to be surprised as hell. <laughs> this is a terrible idea, but I guess we'll do it. <laughs> All right, we gotta have fun somehow. Right, Let's do it. You, all right, the, you. Does someone else want to spend a penny to make sure okay. that all the little toys with you have blankets that they can use as parents? All right, spin that penny. All the toys are safe. That, that's yeah, they're 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 bailing out. They're all holding each a corner of a blanket. So there's like now. Four. Remember when you jump, all of you have to yell Geronimo. It's Geronimo. tradition. That seems. Not cool for reasons we don't understand. Uh, shout, I'm gonna die. That okay, yeah. Just, just shout problematic when you jump out for Christ's sake. Problematic. Sakes. Cover all your bases. <laughs> I'm just at the back of the plane, hucking toys out. Just, yeah. <laughs> problem. 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 <laughs> yeah, you're just for, yeah kicking. I'm on. not beholden to human law. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's like like an entire parachute like squadron or like entire platoon company just get, filing out this massive cargo play. Yeah, is everybody? Uh, yeah, you have to. Yeah, is anyone doing tandem parachuting? Or uh, he's I'm, oh, he's, he's strapped in my belly. <laughs> and he he's squirming. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, as a mess, young man. This is this bubble gum. And sugar is your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Punch him in that name. Yeah, give me athletics for parachuting down the, the three of you. Yeah. Oh this is going to go bad. Five. All right. Seven. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Please tell me that worked. <laughs> Did you fail? I said seven. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just looking for a four to not like. Okay. Fail, fail, like suddenly forget. I would have volunteered to hit and like roll. So there was a park near the castle that looked like the open ground. That's what all of you are aiming for. So what'd you get? I got a five. And what'd you get? A seven. Nine. All right. So nine. You land square center in the park. You're fine. Uh, seven. You're at the edge of the park, but you're still inside of that. You. You're like a block away. So you land in the middle of a large. A courtyard in between some buildings. So you two see that Cranberry and Steve have gone off course a bit. Okay. So I'm you're gonna... in this courtyard and it's filled with people and toys that are all standing in rows, you know, just all in formation, all looking up ahead. And you can see, you know, your buildings all around this courtyard and there are people in balconies and you can see they're, they're like adult sized toy soldiers with rifles pointing down. But in front of everyone staring intently at one person, who is holding up a little plastic thing. Uh, now, you have academics, right? Yeah. So you recognize it. That's a pre-Rift's toy. It's actually worth something on the black market because it's unusual enough. It's quirky. It's called the Bop It. And, every, and he hits a button on it and says, shake it. And everyone starts shaking. <laughs> so do you start? What do you do? I excuse ourselves from this deeply disturbing ritual. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, 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 the guards said, oh, they aim and point the rifles at you. Oh, um, for God's sakes. Yeah. So go ahead and give me a, let's see here. Oh, they need at least a four to hit you. They miss, uh, but a bullet whizzes by your head. And they, they, uh, person whispers, you just stop in line or they'll keep shooting. No, you, f-. and then someone else was, no, let him fall. That's just one more competition. Only one can live. It's Bop It Royale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking here. Uh, so I'm going to shrink myself down. <laughs> See if they can hit an insect. All right, right, it's negative two because you have Steve with you. Damn. 
See, children, children do nothing but make things worse. <laughs> Look, you sound like my grandmother. <laughs> That's going to be four. Which is a two. Yeah. So you fail. So. I've been that one. Okay, yeah. Six. But it's going to be 11. Minus two is a nine, which works. All right. So you cast it enough for you and. So, oh, by the way, your 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 ocean journey was enough to fully replenish your PVE. So, but now minus your growth spell. So uh, with an additional two, so I think it's five. Because, All right. Um. So the two of you shrink down, as they say. You know. Uh, uh, kick it and they all make a kicking motion but one person's a little slow and they get shot and they should have tried shrinking they should have tried shrinking yeah and the guards you could tell there's a guard frantically looking for you um but they they are unable to get a beat on you yet but you're in this courtyard so so that takes you a little bit to do you too of course steve you're on the ground now you could pull you could get out of your little carriage and yeah if you want to yeah, I do. Okay. This is like, this is wrong. Okay, so you wiggle out. Also, you strangely do smell like cranberries. <laughs> Wizard shit. <laughs> it's in my name. Cranberry bought, you know it. Like, I know, but why do you smell like them? My mother's enjoyed cranberry quite a lot. You know, the aromatic. Like, it's like, like, oh God, so it's in your, as I'm taking the shoot off. So it's like, it's like in your DNA. Oh, for God's sake, it's like penicillin. It's good for you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you love these tannins. <laughs> I was like, it's it like go and take a baby. It time. helps with the UCIs. <laughs> Just like a child to be ungrateful for that which he needs. <laughs> Damn, got your ass. Uh, so, oh, I get it. Everyone's against me now. <laughs> So, so for this, well, this is all happening very quickly. Oh, okay. So, um, well, well, it, so it, it happens as slow as we want it to be funny. So. Yeah, yeah. So they two land, they get they get shot at. They, they, yeah, this all takes like a minute. So it, overall, you're looking for a way out, I presume. Correct? Yeah. And are you also looking for a way? Out? Yes. Okay. So you two are looking for a way out, shrunken in the courtyard. So you two see them go down behind a building. It looks like they just landed behind the building. So you're, you, I assume you two are going to get. Yeah, them. we're going to advance towards them. Okay, I'm, just, I'm going to. Oh, so yes. you get to the the other side of this building, and there's a person at station at the door, and they're like, "Are you here for the Boppet Royale?" I have no idea what that is. Can we still be friends? Oh yes. Well, it is. It is. There's a grand prize beyond imagining. A truly great prize. But uh, I don't have much of an imagination. Well, it could be whatever you want it to be. It could be wealth. It could be freedom, or it could be music. Oh, I have I have all those things. Okay, well, you don't have to. We have many contestants already. <laughs> Tell me that's not the best fucking response ever. <laughs> all right, that's the game, fellas. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I just look at him and go, not scared to find out you should just go home. <laughs> I'm just going to like, look at him and go, my friends are over there. I'm going to go find them. Well, I mean, you're, oh, you have friends. I, only one can win the Boppet Royale. The one of at best one of them. Will. So you don't want to be friends? I mean, I'm just the doorman here. Why can't explain. we be friends? Can we be friends? We, Why can't we be God. friends? I'm literally going to press this guy to be friends with me. Okay, well, <laughs> we can be friends, but I can't give you any advantage. Or uh, oh, that's fine. Okay, no, no, I would never ask a friend to. Do but that. I, I'm, I'm here to tell people if they want to go and where to go to get in the Boppet Royale. I don't. Oh, is it? It's past you. Yes. So I just walk past you. Yes, but you'll be in the Boppet Royale. Okay, what does that mean? That means uh, you have to follow the commands of Boppet. I'm going to sneak and if you while f- he's <laughs> discombobulating the guy. Well, how? I mean, he's in front of the door. Like, I'm going to make my sneak roll. Uh, if you need a mechanical way, I'm going to pick up a potted plant. I'm going to hold it in front you of You can't, the, like, do, 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 do. You can go if you climb, do, 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 do. if you go around, if you, if you, you climb a wall. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not being sneaky, nicky, nicky. Yeah, he's just standing in front of the door. Like, you can't, like. Well, not with that attitude. Yeah. You can give me another check to find another way in. Why are we trying to bypass this guy? I'm just talking. Well, to we're you. trying to bypass the guy to get to you guys so that we can get you out. Yeah. And the guy won't let us go past unless we do that a thing. Up. That blew up. Well, unless you go in the in the game. Three times. Okay, it stops there. Six plus six plus six plus four. I'm a ninja. I'm, okay. I'm a ninja. Uh well no, you found a way to to sneak. Life that. finds so, a way. There is a gutter on the side of the building you can climb up, which with that roll, you don't have to make a roll to, to climb up. So. I'm just that distracting. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> is your idea that if you get past this guy without agreeing to his rules, the Bobby Royale will not affect you? 
More or less. Okay. Like if I get I mean, far enough in, I can get you guys out without having to worry I about mean, it. I mean, it doesn't actually work, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so 44, you climb on top of the roof. You look down, you can see the courtyard. You see a lot of people. Well, not well. one gets shot just as you get there. As they, they fail to follow the bop it rules on time. And uh, you're distracting the doorman. Yeah. And you two, you both can give me notice checks. Cranberry and Steve. Steve. Roll a notice check. No. I don't want to see anything. Steve anymore. in. <laughs> <laughs> you get something even if you fail. So, yeah. Four. Three. Okay. Well, the one thing you get with a fail check is that, you know, if you just fucking kill that guy with the bop it, that's going to throw everything off course. It's going to be chaotic. Um... So with a four, you realize there is a there are blind spots under these balconies where the the guards with the rifles are stationed. Right, they can't really shoot that well uh, straight down. Yes, well straight. I mean, there's ones that on mm-hmm. every side of the building, but like the ones that the op are are they're not well positioned to see directly under. That's why there's no contestants on there directly underneath the balconies. So you think the and because you're shrunken, you 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 see that there is a crack in one of them, and you can go through there. Like you don't know where it leads. Like we can go through the crack here. All right, we'll do it. Okay. So yeah, you don't see this, by the way, because you're you know on the roof. On the roof, Falling you just see roof. a bunch of people following the commands of Bop it, and some of them are getting murdered for it. So what do you want to do? You do see the parachute, but it is there's no one attached to it. They they and you don't see any bodies, at least the bodies of your friends. Uh, you do just see other bodies. just strangers. Yeah. <laughs> well, pull out the radio. I'm on the rooftop. Where are you guys? Over. We're in a crack. We're in a crack. Scurrying about like the mice we are. <laughs> Definitely afraid for our lives. Can you be more specific about the location of said crack? Over. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> At least they said they weren't on crack. <laughs> sure, sure they could poke my little head out and like be like, okay, I'm looking at like a, a cross on a roof, you know, across the way. Can we, we can triangulate, can't we? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, you are. So you figure out which it, it's like the, the crack on the wall opposite of your current position. So if you look, so but yeah, you don't know. You, you're just inside the crack. You don't see how far it goes out. I relayed to number forty four. My, uh, my my intuition. If you can stymie the gentleman with the boppet toy, that's good. That's going to amp this this mother. I can probably do that. Mm-hmm. Like is that guy with the boppet just a normal guy? It looks like it. I can javelin him from here. You sure? I've got a better solution, but never mind. I'm not there. Do so. Yeah, it's roll, roll, roll athletics to hit him. Hey, this is the time to try new things. Yeah. Like, do you have a better idea? Well, we can't talk right now because you just walked past me. Oh, you got, <laughs> you're a robot. You've got the radio inside your Yeah, head. you all do. Okay, so I could talk to him. Why don't you? Well, I have to get past the doorman. I can lower a rope down. I can just walk past him. I think okay. it's Simon Says rules. I mean, like, I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I walk past the door. I never yet. played these games right. as a kid. Uh, are you going to follow the rules of the Boppet? I'm going to follow can... the rules of the Boppet as I walk up. Okay. I'm going to get to the front of the line and look up at the guy who's holding the Boppet. Uh-huh. All right, give me an athletic check to see how well you can follow the rules of the Boppet. All right. In just in case. It's going to suck. If oh, I yeah. see somebody shoot at Yolanda, <laughs> javelin time. Oh, we'll, we'll javelin the guy as a backup. Three. All right. Oh, wait. No, I can. Yeah. Did you six. roll both dice? Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah. Six is enough. I look up at the guy and go, who gave you the right to hold the bop it? I want to intimidate him. Okay. Which I got a D12 on that. Okay. Because I'm like, I'm totally going to browbeat this fucker. Okay. <laughs> um, eight. All right. Uh, let's see here. He is actually not intimidated. He is just says uh, he didn't. She did not follow the rules. I'm following your rules as we speak. They don't say to stop. Yeah, the boppet doesn't say talk. Talk to the boppet holder. Yeah. That's not an option. Yeah. <laughs> boppet never said kill anyone. But I do. You're uh, not boppet. <laughs> I work for a darker power. I am a darker power. <laughs> The, well, I, I'm just like, this shit got dark. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shoulder my NGP7. <laughs> All right, we'll just go to combat. Let's uh, do it, because, like, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> See, I was wise to shrink down and hide like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, and you are a bitch. Yes, obviously. <laughs> but we're good friends still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot the fucker. Sure. 
Like, just, just shoot him in the goddamn face with a park beam rifle. Because mm-hmm. he questioned me. Well, first off, 44 already had a ready to action. So. Okay, so. so that's an 18 on my javelin. Okay, you get an extra D6 on your damage. Woohoo! So that is going to be my strength rating plus 2D6. Mm-hmm. And currently my strength is D8, so... Aim for the head and separate the hemispheres. <laughs> God, I was trying to be diplomatic. No, I mean they're doing the mur- they're doing you know a whole squid yeah. game kind of thing. No, 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 we're trying. Here. We're trying. They're doing a murder game. You can't. You can't. They're not reasonable. Okay. It's rifts. So like everything goes violent. Yeah. Let's see how amiable he is with a split mind. <laughs> Great. So two eights and a four on that die. So that is going to be. 20. Okay. That one's three. <laughs> so we're looking at 23, 24, 25. Who are you targeting? Uh, one Mr. The, Boppet Man. The, the, okay, yeah. With the uh, javelin. Yeah. You said 25? 25, yes. 25, okay, yeah. Well, let's see. And I do have armor piercing on those. Okay. Jesus. Well, let's see. That's he's what he's not he here explodes. right now. <laughs> All right, so it does not kill him outright, but it does heavily wound him. He has two wounds. As he is staggered, the, the javelin impales him, revealing that his dark demonic form. Okay, These are some shit. of the demon toys. They were here being murderous assholes uh, because they couldn't get to the king. So they're just harvesting the souls of these poor fools who are desperate for something because the kingdom has gone to shit. You know, they're harvesting the souls to do what with them? Oh, like, you don't know. I have an idea. Like, I mean, they're demons probably to eat them or enslave them. Do you yeah. think, like, it's like, look, Frank. Why do we steal souls? It's all we've been doing, and I don't know what benefit we get from them. We should just merely ask for the soul. <laughs> Except maybe our gracious leader is a soul So, there, so he's <laughs> done for this round. There are three riflemen. Um, the That's remaining three forward. characters, you three, each make an agility check. If you get a four, you get to go before the riflemen. But if not, they get to go. Oh, does my quick come into this? Yes, you get a plus two. You get to a plus two to your roll. Okay. So cranberry and Steve, you can roll as well. You're you're in the in the little crack in the wall. Wait. You're peeking out, yeah, agility. Because I'm not doing the standard Savage Worlds in the no, system because I don't want to deal with cards. Um, Five. Okay. One. <laughs> All right. So you're going last, but you, you're going next. Then cranberry, then the rifleman, and then Steve. So there's three riflemen. The Boppet guy is alive, but he is wounded and stunned. So he's got two wounds. He has one left. Yeah. My move is to finish off the finish off the Boppet guy. Okay, because uh, he defied me. Sure, all <laughs> um, right. You don't fuck with me. Uh, yeah, you need a since you're a little below him. He has partial cover, so you need a five to hit him. I believe in you. And shooting. Yeah. I wish I could believe in myself. Okay. That's a six. So it right. explodes. Plus a five, eleven. All right, you get a raise because you got a four above him. You got at least a nine. So and uh, seven, I. Remember last time I rolled damage on this, it was like, what the hell? Well, happened? do you have it written down how much damage you roll? No. Okay. I have to look at the engine. I'm sorry. You. I'm a, I'm a, a bitch. I'm a how dare you make me use these books that I have? I'll, I'll write it down. You can get these books that you have conveniently directly uh, in front of you, <laughs> beside uh, your left hand. I just know that I picked that weapon. Easy because, reach. That was because in old school rifts, it was one of the highest damage weapons 1d4 times 10 mega damage. I know. I know. It was like. The absolute. I was there when the old law was written. It was like the the absolute, like b boy, like. Be nice if you had some grenades. You realize you could just make up the number, and I believe you. Uh, (laughs) Pretty much about that level. Forty-eight. Four D. Forty-eight damage is a lot. Four D eight, and you get to add a D six to that because you got to raise. Seven plus four, eleven plus six. That would be a 17 plus 6. Oh, it's actually plus 2d4 damage on arrays because they're particle beam weapons. Ooh. 2d4? It, yeah, instead of 1d6. Okay, so... So 48 that. plus 2d4. So I know that's 6. I need a d4. I got it. All right. I just need to roll these 2d4s and add it to 17. Uh, 7 plus 17 would be 30. 24. No, no, 20, 24. 24. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you, you vaporize the shit out of them. Lady I am Green. the new master of Boppet. None shall defy me. <laughs> All right, give me an intimidation check. Okay, fine. Yeah, no. 
We're Lady Three PO over here is kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Did this happen last time I was in here? <laughs> I fire an NGP seven and just become the most right. intimidating it's creature on the planet. It turns out, yeah, it would be uh, good help. six. I don't know if that's enough. But we'll find out. Uh, is, can I on, force a reroll? Oh, they're they're in a twenty. They rolled a ten on their willpower. So or a spear check again. Can I force a reroll? Like by spending. You money? don't really have any edges that would do that. You could re. You could spend it to reroll your roll. Like I said, I want to reroll. My okay. Roll. Yeah. 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 All right. In that case, do it. But you need to get a ten. I want a ten. You get plus two because you're you have your. Oh, then that that actually is ten. Then. Okay. All right. Yeah. I am the puppet master now. You will obey me. <laughs> All right, the three, de- the other three are demons as well, but they, they, they are you know cowardly demons. They, they don't- twist it, bop it, smack it harder. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, so you have some demons that are they're they're terrified of you. And- Do you want me to throw it? Because if you want me to throw it, I will throw it. Okay, only if it's harder. Well, you stopped the Boppet Royale and rescued the humans as you revealed them to be evil demons. I am now all out of Benny's, by the way, folks. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> Decisions wanna, were made. What do you want to do next? Your, your two comrades, can, you can come out of the crack and look the, the riflemen. Are, 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 Hi, are, we were in a crack. Bring me the Boppet. You're right in front <laughs> of it. It's, it's like literally right well, in front of like balconies. They're on balconies above. Yeah, so, so yeah you can climb up to the balcony. Or you can just go in the, the building. I'll just go, go up the and like, yeah, grab yeah. the Boppet. Yeah, you have the Boppet now. It radiates power. We shall see the king. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So never give it never give a robot power, folks. Just don't do it. So here here's the thing. As you That's like Chef BG on crack. Get closer to the castle. You can see that all these there there are literally thousands and thousands of these extras. I mean these these people. The kingdom residents have been frozen as as the the end of a massive musical number that involved everyone in the capital city. They're frozen, they're indestructible, they they do not move, but you can tell that they're they're still conscious and they're they're suffering because they can perceive things, but they're not unable, they're unable to do anything. They're just trapped in their own bodies. It's terrible. But I look at the rest of the group and say, guys, one, maybe we shouldn't sing. At one end of the castle, you can see that there's a horde of demonic toys moving these people because while they're indestructible, they're not immovable. Uh, and at the in, in the middle of the king uh, the castle, there is the king and his loyal retainers that are moving the other. So basically, think of these as like massive human Tetris pieces that they're moving in and out of place. The king is keeps maneuvering them to make himself protected, and the demon toys are trying to unravel it uh, in order to get to the king. Now, you of course have a legion of broken toys with you. You also now have all the people you rescued from Boppet Royale. I am the Boppet Master. And <laughs> you so <got> you <laughs> you you're fighting basically with these indestructible terrain pieces, right? These the, these hordes of people, you know, kneeling, smiling, ha, ah, raising their arms like this. So it's uh, like it's yeah. like it's like invincible glee. Yeah, it's like invincible <laughs> glee. Yeah, one person moonwalking. It's like time frozen glee, essentially. So you need to maneuver them so you can get to the king and lock out the demons. Now you have more helpers with you, but you all need to take your role. You know, sort of coordinating all of this. So I forgot if there's a leadership skill or I know there's, <laughs> there's a battle persuasion, skill. Persuasion performance. Well, you have battle, right? Is this I good? do. No, I don't. Oh, I thought you. I gave you that. Yeah, oh no, no, I, I have a D four in it now. Yeah, I have a D six. Okay, yeah, so battle would work to coordinate the overall battle plan. Other people could use athletics. Uh, everyone can make something, just narrate how you are helping basically imprison the demon toys inside the, their, you know, frozen glee characters, uh, prisons, uh, and get to the king so you can force him to end this terror. They use intimidation on our toys to get them to do the job right. <laughs> I'm going to persuade through music. Okay, okay, yeah. You know what, guys? I like to move it, move it. There we I go. If the battle is effective, I'm going to Yeah, battle will work, yeah. What about you, Steve? That's another six. Give a rousing speech to the uh, toys. I'll give right. you a plus four yes. to that. That's a third All right. six. Roll persuade, yeah. That's a fourth six. It's a fifth six. And a one. <laughs> okay. What? So that would be 31 on the die. <laughs> uh, this might be a... Uh, I'm now attractive doesn't affect yeah. Yeah. Four, 14. Being okay. hot does not the toys actually are sick of my shit too. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> You're the comic relief for this. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, we're cranberry. Burr. Yeah, the, all the toys are just. Arrange them in a line in this fashion. Here's all these complex strategies. 
Hey guys, what's up? They're just tying your shoelaces together and shit like that. They're they're tired of you being mean to Steve. Yeah. So. So yeah, no, this, that's what that works, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's an amazing. There's an incredible I, montage as you're moving and moving. I'm, I'm, I'm walking along the balcony above them. Oh yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, and to this, we are going to play Tetris for real to win the day. Yeah. Oh my God. Feet are physically feet. Physically feet. Physically feet. Yeah. I like to move it. Move it. <laughs> I like to move it. <laughs> so you defeat the demonic toys. You get to Gary first, the king of children's music. And Gary is a middle-aged man who hates children stuff and likes stamp collecting. And he doesn't know why the muse chose him. But he thought that it would give him cool powers and that would impress people. And Do you uh, want to be relieved of this duty? Yes. Would you like to come with us? I guess. You could live with us. It's we, gonna be a more mundane world than this, and it's who are you full with? of toys. We're at the Tomorrow Legion. Oh. I'm Tomorrow Legion. Officer. You I'm haven't the, issued any new any stamps. The coalition has stamps. The Federation of Magic has stamps. What if you wanted to start stamps? You know, Make we need own. somebody to help us design the new stamps so that we can release them. Oh. If only we had somebody who was an expert in what stamps should look like. With an imagine clearly with an imagination. You have a lot of watercolor painters who do ducks. I want ducks. I want we stamps can, of ducks. We, we can, can make definitely that happen. make that happen. Okay. Yeah. Right. You want some, you want ducks? We'll give you. I want watercolor paintings of ducks. Have all the ducks in the world. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. And you know what? We'll even put them in a nice little row. I want Tom, a contest to fairly determine who should be the best duck painter. Tom, why um, did I picture your like statement? Like having like a massive explosion of like faux watercolor behind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the ducks in the world. <laughs> All right. Gary's Gary will accept this. Yeah. He has very stringent standards for he wants he wants watercolor paintings of birds. Sex. Abandon this place. Let's just go back to our place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, duck, yeah. We'll, duck duck we'll, we'll transfer the muse to an actual kid who'll appreciate this. That'll be great. But actually we'll go to the well they're just, you go back to the toys like you all did wonderful. Yeah. We did this. We did no. do this. You did this. Yeah. We're all very proud of you. Uh, in this case, <laughs> the hero is all of you. Yay! And they like there's this incredible like you know what this sparkles means? of magic a musical number. It does. <laughs> yeah, and music has come back to the kingdom. All the toys are magically repaired. There's fairy dust everywhere. They're all becoming whole and clean and good. And... I look over Stephen. Go. I'm starting to understand how you feel. Like, 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 no, my pain, no, my pain. <laughs> oh, and so, like, some birds start flying in and they start like weaving this ribbon around you. And there's fairy dust and sparkles everywhere. I just want let it happen. And <laughs> it's it's exactly like a Sailor Moon transformation scene. Like lots of spinning. There's lots of spinning. Lots of bright colors. Yeah, yeah. Lots of <laughs> suggested uh, um, Yeah, yeah, no. You really arch your back and like. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, no, at this point, I know what I have to do. I'm holding up like a cell phone that I didn't have before. You know, this shit. Yeah, and uh, you're back to Steve, the grackle tooth. He's like, oh, <laughs> like oh, thank fuck. I appreciate being an adult now. I wager. Ah. <laughs> Like I completely forgot that adult reptiles have like hidden junk. Yeah. <laughs> like I can I can I can explain everything to you. It's fine. I understand. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, like but uh, oh, don't worry, Cranberry. As the officer in charge, is my mission to get my team back in one piece and alive. Once we get back, you're going to pay. Baby, <laughs> more hot chocolate. You seem grumpy. <laughs> Like, I'll make my own when I get back. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know what would probably make you feel better? If you say musical number, I'm going to shriek. Oh, there's a musical number going on as you're... You're just talking through the musical number. <laughs> yeah. This is the brief interlude in the musical number where people talk normally. Then it's back to the singing. Yeah. Like, they're incorporating all the... This is like a 20-minute fucking mm. thing. This is a <laughs> showstopper. Like, they're bringing back every song you referenced previously. The ghost children are back. They're breakdancing. <laughs> like, this is like fucking some Shrek-ass shit. Like, like, <laughs> but not horrible CG. Oh, no. It's, it's classy as 
as fuck CG. Like this is, <laughs> good. This is some good top tier DreamWorks shit. Because um, hey, and, now we're all stars. We well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and get paid. <laughs> yeah, you can get to see what what happens to each of the broken toys, the Jack of the Boxes. That blood stain is now fixed and gone from when you did. No, it's a it. paint stain because he's an artist. He's an artist. There we go. Five years later, he's a published author. <laughs> um, <laughs> <thanks>. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, DOT bot now is living with his wife. He's no longer divorced. Oh wait, wait. Um, what do we call him again? The Guy Fury. Guy Firelord, yeah. yeah. Guy Firelord is. Oh yeah, he's active. eating. Yeah, yeah, he's eating. You know, he's cooking. He's cooking for all those he, survivors he, of the Boppin Royale. <laughs> like they're burying. Well, you know. who is the Boppin? Well, you can rock these flavors. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just great. So. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Taste it. Sip it. Love it. He's a very this proud man. Yeah. This rocket. So. Loaf. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you all kind of, it just kind of all fades out, which is terrifying for you. And then suddenly there's blackness for a moment. And then you're just back at the Tomorrow Legion, at, at, at the uh, Castle Refuge. The hangover is worn off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I could experience anything like that, I would feel empty. <laughs> so, yeah, you you did it. You saved children's music from the evils of demons. Could, what what lesson did you learn, Cranberry? Oh, that uh, 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 to take advantage of your friends whenever you can. <laughs> uh, you know, better to ask forgiveness than permission, obviously. <laughs> and as ever, shrieking freaking works. <laughs> uh, what about you, Yolanda? Yolanda has learned that she truly is the master of the Boppet. She is, yeah. And she will forever hold the Boppet. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm marking that on my character sheet, by the way. Oh, sure. I'm going to have the Boppet. It's, uh-huh. it's undervaluable. Uh huh. And 44. <laughs> Well, I learned that I need to be a little bit clearer about the lollipop because the one that I have been offering Steve this entire time is one of those spears covered in meat because I know that that is the kind of lollipop that Steve actually likes. Wow, yeah, chicken lollipop, yeah. Also, let's be fair, music solves everything. It does. It really and does. Just as well as violence. And finally, Steve, what did you learn? This is your, you were the main protagonist. After all. I've always been fond of humans. Mm-hmm. Now my respect for them has grown even more. Oh, yeah? Because I do not realize the nightmare that is living without the proper appendages that you're supposed to. And being small. And being small. But the fact that they had to grow up small and without that stuff, like, that they have, it is no wonder that they have survived such a horrible disaster centuries ago and come through somehow able to weather it all. (laughs) In fact, like, the moment I step back through, it's like, the first just kind of random human I pass by, I'm just going to hug them. Oh. And, say, and it's like, I'm like, I know. I know. There, you see that? I did that. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, yes, yeah, like, Cranberry, thank you for everything. Oh, yeah, no problem. And now, t- go ahead, sir. Now go cl- cl- clean the latrines. <laughs> Steve, if you want to. Hey, a nice shriek. <laughs> Steve, if you want to feel this way every day, I <laughs> don't the kitten. Like, they have tails. They, 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 they've got everything. They have more than everything. <laughs> but they need you. No. <laughs> like, oh, God, you're taking on that tone. I know that tone. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's the that's the session. So, I uh, question, comments, questions. I guess, like, fine. Oh, yeah, it was great. Oh, um, Steve was in such well, hell. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did design. It's like, I'm, I want to give Tom a little challenge. I want to, like, oh, Steve's he's always playing the big, tough guy. Well, what if he wasn't the big, tough guy? And now you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, just, I'll roll with it. It was I'll delightful. I'll that shit. Yeah, yeah. I uh, also just want to say thank you for putting <laughs> on RBS as usual. I mean. <laughs> well, that's yeah, the game. Thank you for putting <laughs> on with RBS. Yeah, yeah, RBS yeah. is the game. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> It was fun. I enjoyed it. So much great BS. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm always apologetic about everything. Yeah. So. Chris, any final thoughts? Boy, I had, I had fun being a rotten person. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be honest, that yeah. was the highlight. Hey, like, Chris, if you want to make getting getting your bird back. Oh, I already some... made a note. Stetson's revenge is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's, like, it's a, there's an old cap section in the campaign, Stetson's <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> I had to think about that. So, yeah, it's a coming, though. It's, All like right. a, it's like a train coming around the bed. Yeah, I'm going to read Rhyme of the Ancient Mariners. Like, how about I can use this to fuck over? Uh, Grandberry. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you all later. Bye. 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 Bye.